Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Friday Night Paper Fight Canadian Highlander League. I'm Serge. Joining me, I have a Jer. Hello. And we are ready to bring you some powerful magic tonight. But first, a note from our sponsors. A reminder that everything we do is brought to you by you, with your support over at Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. You did this. Also, uh, cardkingdom.com slash LRR. That is an affiliate code. Let's them know that we sent you. And if you say Loading Ready Run sent me button, please, you'll get a button. We don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure it exists and it's hilarious, but the actual contents of said button, I don't know. <laughs> but cardkingdom.com slash LRR, literal actual paper royalty. Now, what are we doing today, Jer? Uh, battling. <laughs> Powerful magic. All of the above. Uh, this is episode one of the Winter League. It's a brand new league. I am our reigning defending champion. I'm uh, also a previous champion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Battle you the of the champions. Oh, no. All right. We'll see how that goes. That should be a lot of fun. Now, this is a new league. We typically say the stakes have never been lower in the other magic we play. Here, that's slightly not true because we keep track of the score and after three weeks we find out who the winner is and then they including me uh get to buy everyone ice cream uh spoilers for later tonight hint hint nudge nudge see all that all that ice stuff cream goes. yeah i mean i won thus i have to do that also if you're interested in powerful magic with even higher stakes uh make sure you come back to this channel tomorrow at noon as we are hosting the yellow jacket top 8 2019 world finals uh, with eight of the best Magic players in the format, including Jer. Uh, Jer and Wheeler are both qualified for that, and we're going to have live commentary, myself and Alex, and then Ben Ulmer and Nelson are going to be pairing off to do proper live coverage for everything there, so check that out. But for our tournament tonight, we have six competitors, the same six returning from before. There's myself and Jer, going to be fighting in round one. Then we've got Cam, Alex, Nelson, and Wheeler are the other competitors who are fighting live, potentially as we speak, off camera. All kinds of fun stuff. What are you, what are you bringing tonight? What have you brought to the table? Uh, so I'm playing a deck that I've talked about a lot. It's sort of like... Seinfeld? Condensed into meme lore at this point. It's a tribal deck. Okay. A tribal deck. All yeah. right, meme tribal. I have been heavily inspired... Uh, by Theros Beyond Death, and I have sleeved up Enchantress. I'm giving Sanctum Stompy a try. Oh boy. Now, before before we went live, we rolled the dice to find out who was going first. You won the die roll, and we both kept seven? Yes. My friend, good luck, and I hope I hope you're never lucky. <laughs> that's, right. that's rude to say. You're wearing the hat. I don't <laughs> Let's see turn one here. Uh, yeah, well, I, I gotta save up my always lucky for tomorrow. All right, I did what the, everyone tells you not to do, and I kept one land cradle. But it also has Mox, so... All right, all right. Bold. I feel it is more acceptable than usual. Your turn. Elf Druid. All right. Yeah. I'm playing Level Up Tribal. <laughs> <laughs> all right. uh, that's, that's the tribe we're talking about there. So 50-50, Jer is either on Elves or Druids. Uh, I should lead with a land. Uh, I'm going to play a Flooded Strand. I'm going to crack that for a white-black land for a Gnarled Scarhide. Winning! Going to, you're already on the board. Uh, I'll go find a Whitey Blackie and then pass to you. Okay. Man, man when, you're, when you're a Scarhide and then you get more Gnarled, <laughs> like, that's that's some that's some seriously gnarly stuff going Look, on. Look, Paul, it ain't uh, easy being a Scarhide, okay? I will level up. Okay. I'll make two. I'll cast a Devoted Druid. Also both an Elf and a Druid. All right, giving still, no still secrets 50, away. 50, still 50-50 <laughs> on which tribe Jer is playing here. Here we go. Uh, may I interest you in cutting? No. <clears throat> okay. Unless you really want me to. No. In which case I will. But... Don't care all that much. What do you destroy? Oh. Attack. I no block. I'm losing. Do you know that Assassin's Trophy can target Cradle? It can. Yeah. I get land? Yeah, I'm going to turn your one land into uh, one slightly worse land. Okay, I'll get a forest. Surge, the, the land assassin. I think that's fair, though, because otherwise you're untapping with one, two, three, four, five, six. That's too many lands. I'll, I'll I still have six five. mana. This taps for two. Oh, right. This is Soul Ring. Uh, all right. 
I love the way you said that as if you're trying to reassure Serge. It's like, oh, no, no, don't worry, Serge. Don't worry, Serge. Yeah, don't, don't worry. I still have six. I still have six. It's All fine. right. It's fine. Well, at least you don't have he can still, seven. He can still cast his crow. Or one. eight or more. Four. I'll cast Beast Whisper. Also an elf and a druid. Make up your mind. <laughs> Which is it? I'm playing elf, druid, tribal. All right. I'll make two mana. Okay. And cast Fauna Shaman and draw a card. Okay. All right, your draw engine appears to be online before my draw engine. Uh, go ahead. Untap, untap, draw. Got any legends over there? Negative. Unfortunate. Um, you have a 2-3. I do. I don't like that. Well, I have a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Pass. Tough affair. Draw. Uh, all right. I'm not going to ask for much. Just that you don't kill me this turn. Voyaging Seder. Okay. Draw. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, oh, God. Taking out your cradle was such a big brain play. Oh, my God. I can't even describe how smart I am. <laughs> oh. Uh, Elvish Harbinger. Yeah. It's not Draw. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, search. What does it do when it comes into play? When it, it comes into the field, an you search library for an elf. Are you an elf or a druid? Druid. It's, it's both. I, I have one, elf, druid, two, elf, druid, three, druid. four, five druids. Yeah, and you also have five elves. Yes. Get druid. Uh, can you please modify his deck name to elf druid tribal, please, Paul? I feel like this is being, uh... A, I'm just gonna get this one, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't bother reading it. Not necessary. Whenever you it's, play a uh, druid spell, you may draw a card. Tap seven untapped druids. Gain control of all lands. Doesn't doesn't do anything. Target player controls. I wouldn't worry S about it. I only have five druids in play. Seven untapped. Okay. Okay. All right. Only, if I only draw five a land, druids. I'm not screwed. Okay. This is only on top of my deck. I'm I'm also not done yet. I, I haven't played a land yet. Search. Do you want to cut? No, you're fine. That's on top. All right, I'll play play this land. Okay, you got a land. Uh, you're. If I draw a land, I can turn this game around. Okay. Is it a land? No, it wasn't a land. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's a one one. Uh, one two. It's a one two currently. Ah, heck. Guil Guilty Farch Druid is just like wandering around your lands, like measuring things. Just be like, oh, don't mind me. I'm just uh, just figuring out where my gazebo is going to go here. Gain control of all my lands. <laughs> Those are some nice looking lands he got over there, Serge. <laughs> Would be a seven, shame if something were to happen. Seven to them. untapped lands, right? I don't, I don't know what you're talking. About. Seven I have to tap druids. seven druids. Yes. You have to tap seven druids. That costs five. You have how many cards in hand? Uh, I have four cards. Four in cards hand. in hand. So what I'm hoping is you can't cast this and another druid and still have seven untapped. I think, I think that's correct. One, two, three, four, five, six druids, including that one. You can turn potentially a non-druid into a druid with that card. Yes. Druidify. You like trees? Uh, sure. Yeah, okay, you're a druid now. All right, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to float a black. You got it. I'm going to sacrifice this, activate United Reliquary. Yeah. Uh -huh. I have a feeling you have Doomwake Giant. That's this odd vibe I'm getting from you. I'm going to get Savannah. I'm now feeling less like you have Doomwake Giant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is one of the only situations... Like, look, you can, Savannah and Scrubland. I know, they look identical, eh? They're both of the... Uh, yeah. 
It's, it's just the worst. So I've got a mana floating, green, green, and a Krakus. I'm going to cast Eidolon of Blossoms. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to play this Forest. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to cast a Rancor on my Gnarled Hide, or my Gnarled Scar Hide. Enters the battlefield, to draw a card off of Eidolon. Uh huh. Attack for four. Ideally, you double or triple block. You appear to just be lowering your life total. <laughs> Immediately. That's so Post weird. Post-haste. Why? What? Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, pass. Um, yeah, I don't really think I want to activate this Fauna Shaman. Now it doesn't seem like the time. Huh. 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 Trying to decide if I can get you this turn. This guy. Five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> I'm so close. <laughs> <laughs> Missed it by that much. Okay, okay. So what you're saying is I have a chance. Yes, yes, that is what I'm saying. Okay. All right. I mean, I guess I'll just make you deal with it next turn. I'll play Guilt Leaf Arch Druid. All right, didn't play on the card reader, please. Right, right, sorry. This is the one that has all the we words had, on it. We had that previously make, discussed. That make me really nervous. Okay. Uh, I draw a card off the Beast Whisperer. Yeah. Yeah, there aren't a lot of words on it. They're just very, very potent words. Yes. Um... I'm going to play a Brushland. Okay. This is for white. Okay. I'll cast Fayborough Elder. Two draw triggers. So it gets plus one plus one for each color among permanents you control. So it comes into play with one plus one plus one count. Oh, two, because it counts itself. It doesn't have counters. It's just a static ability. Oh, okay. So it's a 2-2. Two, two. All right. And, and then, then you get it, a draw trigger off of which two? Uh, Beast Whisper and Guilt Leaf Arch Druid. Whenever I play a Druid spell, oh my God. I draw. And whenever I cast a creature spell, I draw. All right. Draw two. So draw. Draw. Yeah. So how many Druids is that you have now? Uh, we're, up, we're up to seven, but they're not all untapped is the, yeah. is the unfortunate bit. So we're going we're gonna to pass and hope Surge can't break up our board too badly. No, I tap the, I tap Brushland for for colorless Elvish Harbinger makes one of any color. So I tapped Harbinger for white mana. And devoted Druid. Thank you for four. Um, none of the blockers. Okay. Please. Yes, Elvish Harbinger. Certainly didn't attack. I screwed up, Jer. How? You have no black. Yeah. If I had if I had gotten a bayou. bayou instead of that, I could have blown you out this turn. I'm frustrated that I didn't do that. Well, I understand how you could be frustrated, but I'm somewhat glad. So here's what we're <laughs> gonna do. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do some shenanigans, and the card I'm gonna drop the top is Sarah Sanctum, and it's still gonna work. Cool. So, um, well, whatever. I'll float a green, uh -huh. um, sacrifice uh -huh. a forest using Knight of the Reliquary. Yeah. Uh, Check if Sarah Sanctum was on top. It wasn't. It right. wasn't. Good, good, good shuffle. Good, 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 good sequencing. Start. Good sequencing. Yeah. See, when you said that's what you're going to do, I want, I'm not sure what part of that is you saying that's what you're going to do and what part of that is you hoping what's going to, what you're going to do. Oh, don't, don't he, give he's 100% hoping. Don't give me that bad luck, my friend. Don't give me that bad luck. He's practically Bon Jovi right now. You're living on a prayer. Except you're not halfway there. You're like one... In uh, uh, I'd say eighty-eight. No, a little less. One in eighty-one, maybe. All right, cut Sanctum to the top, please. So I have one floating and four. There's our friend, the Doomwake Giant. You were talking about when it enters the battlefield. Yeah. Your board gets minus one, minus one. So I took out one Druid. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Draw trigger. Uh huh. Now this is Sarah Sanctum. Okay. It's the face of not Sarah Sanctum. Mm. 
If, if there's one thing Surge wouldn't do to me, it's slow roll. Ah, uh, I got... No, I don't. I definitely don't have you. So I drew a land. I believe the the quality or lack thereof of Surge's poker face has been well documented. Oh, Surge previous. hates to see that. I have one land in my entire deck that comes into play tapped. Uh, I'm going to exile your graveyard. Tough and effect. not wipe your entire board! I'm so upset! If this had That's been by you, and I could have activated shame. Knight of the Brel Query to turn the forest into Sarah Sanctum, I could have cantripped and given your whole board a minus three, minus three. That would have been good. That would have been good. Uh, right. Instead, um, enjoy ramping by five lands. I have an okay board. I will untap this forest on your end step with my Voyaging Seder. Yep. <clears throat> I'll activate Fauna Shaman pitching Primordial Sage. Okay. What's that? It's a bigger version of Beast Sure. Whisper. Sure. Bigger, older. If that was um, Massacre Girl, well, if it was Massacre Girl, I also would have killed my own board. So that wouldn't have been ideal. Seems not also, ideal. Also, Massacre Girl wouldn't have drawn me a card off of Eidolon. Please. <laughs> um, deciding which druid I would like to get. What's Do the best case scenario? Know. Best case scenario, I still rip Sarah Sanctum off the top. That is probably best case scenario for you. Yeah. Because then I can rip one land that taps yes, for four. That one's pretty good. It's a draw three. Draw threes are quite nice. So this deck is surprisingly hard to pilot. Even to uh, see the sequencing of getting Doomwake wrong there. I'm just going to get Clone oh. Oracle. You know, if there's any card Everybody's favorite that druid. I could die to, this card is so good. I love Coiling Oracle so much. This is like legit one of my all-time favorite magic cards. Hmm. Also and it's an a elf snake druid. elf druid. Also a snake and yes. an elf and yeah. a druid. Can you please update uh, Jer's stream deck name to snake elf druid tribal? I, <laughs> I also you have tree folk druid. Yeah. <laughs> just tribal tribal. The old uh, snake. This is in my hand from yeah. Fauna Shaman. Yeah. I'm yeah. now untapping. Yep. Yeah. Boop -de boop -de boop You need to draw another card. How many cards Try. are you going to draw off this stupid... Uh, several is likely the answer. <laughs> All right. Green and a blue. I'll cast Coiling Oracle. All right, so Coiling Oracle, when it comes into play... Uh, well, when it's on it. the stack, I draw two cards. So those are both cast triggers, so... So I'll draw one. Yeah. Draw two. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no. Seven. Oh, no! All right. Unfortunately for you, we drew a good one. Oh, that's good. That means you're not going to take all my lands. All right, there's no, only... it means I get to do everything. What? Um, I'll cast Intruder Alarm. Uh, creatures do not untap. Whenever another creature comes into play, untap all creatures. Okay. I guess I should have tapped differently. I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat step for a second and tap differently. Sure, that's fine. Mistakes never lower. Okay, so Intruder Alarm is in play. Yes. Got it. Um. I'm gonna make Bant. With this, because I have a blue thing now. Okay. Intruder alarm affects both I'll, players, right? Yeah. yeah. I'll cast Knight of Autumn. Okay. So ETB. Uh, I'll stack it so the this trigger will resolve first, and I'll destroy your Doomwake Giant. Okay. Now intruder alarm triggers, and all creatures on top. Sure. I'll tap seven druids and try to take all your lands. Um, I'm gonna respond. Sure. By activating Knight of the Reliquary to sack a bayou. Sure. Oh yeah, I forgot to draw two cards. Yeah, Just fine. do that now. All right, fine. There's a lot of triggers with this deck. From Hell's uh, Heart, yeah. I stab it. I should have only drawn one. It's not a druid. Okay, well then, I mean, I trust you to take one of the cards you just grabbed there. Um, gonna... They were both the same card. Okay, I'm going to wasteland my own Caracas. Sure. Uh, do you want to shuffle that away? Do you know I'm, I'm about to shuffle. Okay. All right. Uh, yes, I've destroyed my own Caracas just so you can't get any value out of it. You may have these three tapped lands. Excellent. Because it's like I can destroy one of your lands, but I can't actually cut you from a color if I do that. Because you're, right. you're about to get your. Uh, well, you could have cut me from blue. I could have cut you from blue, but I think it's better than getting Krakus because I have 
some high value targets from that. I just don't want you to have that. Also, it pumps my own Knight of the Reliquary if I do that. Whatever, you're about to... Okay, so yeah. take all my lands. Resolve. I've taken all your lands. I'll play a land for the turn. Okay. I'll cast Eldritch, Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing Knight of Autumn. Sure. And that's whenever you cast a creature, whenever a creature Ca cast a creature. comes into play. No, no, no that's Th it. This is uh, into play, yeah. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to get to untap all the things. Yep. Unfortunately, I drew the one I really wanted to draw. So instead, we'll just go get... I'm not dead yet. Are you sure? I've got Spellseeker. Okay. Spellseeker is going to find Time Walk. My Knight of the Reliquary is untapped. Uh-huh. All my creatures untapped. Mm-hmm. I might be dead here. It's I mean it's it's a it's a tough road being the premier lands player in the format with no actual lands. <laughs> Hi. Shush Paul! <laughs> I found the hard counter. Do you want to cut? No, it's fine. So uh that puts it into your hand with Spellseeker? Yeah. Okay. Um I will make Bant and two and cast Chulane, Teller of Tales. What is. Oh, my Caracas! <laughs> God! <laughs> I mean, Vigilance, it was. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card, then you may put a land from your hand onto the back. Okay. Your Caracas? More like my Caracas. Uh, oh, right. I draw a bunch of cards off this. Uh, two of them, in fact. Yeah, and this untaps. And I guess in response to the untapped trigger, I'll make some mana. two mana. Okay. I feel, I feel like Trulane tells really repetitive stories. I'll cast Time Walk with the mana floating. All right. Um, I'll make... Right. Make a... One, I two... I don't think we can come green. back, Chad. Just believe. Believe in the heart of the cards. Uh... He hasn't demonstrated a way to kill us three, yet. Three, four green, no, three green, uh, two from this, one from this. True. By life total, uh, you're still way ahead, Serge. Right? Two almost, blue, I two white. Is that the right number? In. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. That'll do. Um, I'll cast Bloom Tender, two draw, or three triggers. Uh, I'll order, so these... Druid? Hold yeah. on, please put the card you're casting on the thingy. All right, all right, all right. This is fine. Uh, so I draw twice, and then I do the Chulain thingy. So I draw, and then I may put a land in. I will. I'll put a forest in. Okay. Uh, then everything untaps. Yeah. Um. Do I have enough mana to do this yet? You have five mana. Five. So I'll add my seven. seven. Yeah. To four of everything. Yeah. Then I'm going to use eight. Do you have an overrun yet? No. Nope. Wargate. I'm wargating for five. Okay. Wait. No. That's dumb. What can I wargate for to win? A wargate for uh, two. Okay. So I'll use, I have to use one of each. Yeah. And I'll use an extra green. Ooh. Uh, you might have to spend one more man than that. I'm wargating for one. Okay. Wargate, X is equal to one is on the stack. Got it. Yeah. This is a hot play. No one in chat's going to see it coming. All right, let's see it in chat. Anyone anyone see this coming? I want to see if you can guess it. A one drop. A one drop. Do you wargate? Any one drop in, in a druid deck, what do you think it is? Is it Lanor Elves? It's Concordant Crossroads. Who... Oh! Paranundrox. Paranundrox nailed it! All right, all right. So, all right. so uh, now everything has haste. Everything has haste. Okay, okay. The old world enchantment. Mm. Interesting. But I'm the enchantress deck. Uh, then I'll use a green mana uh, yep. to cast. Oh, wait. Now that this has haste, I'll make a bant. Okay, all right. I've already I have a, I've spent a green, but I'm not gonna cast Arbor Elf. Uh, three triggers, <laughs> draw, 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 put a land into play. Another Elf Druid. Everything untaps. Yep, good. 
It has haste and makes mana, so I'll put it into the make mana pile. Um, so you just need to be able to make 19 damage after three blockers. How far can you go? Well, I guess over two turns. Uh, I'm going to make... Can you make for 15 in a turn yet? Because then I'm just dead. I'm going to make a pile of mana, green sun zenith for eternal witness, then I can loop it with Chulain. To oh, get loop, time, time lock? Forever. Okay, all right. I'll scoop to that. I don't think I was dead yet, but I'll scoop to that. <laughs> all right. All Apart right. from me being able to maybe draw my deck and put everything into play. As uh, as Adam would say, he has demonstrated a loop. Yeah, I'm I'm actually kind of sad because the turn before, if I had grabbed a black source instead of a green white source, I could have played Doomwake Giant and Raptor Holdboard. That would have been because I have black, strong. and then I float black, turn that into Sire Sanctum, and I have a white enchantment in hand, so I can minus two, minus two your whole board, and then probably can't trip into a third one. That's why I was like, I think he has Doomwake Giant. Yeah. And then you didn't get black, and I'm like, I no longer think you have yeah. Doomwake Giant. Because I, I couldn't do it that turn, so I was hoping to cantrip, luckily, into something by taking one extra turn, and I, I think I had it either way, but messing that up. It's just one of those moments of tutoring and being like, oh, this is good enough, without being like, wait, no, it's it's actually not. It's actually a, a very, very significant difference, because it's not the turn there, because I needed a green source. I needed specifically a green and a black source, not just a green source for the one turn. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's always fun when you get to see a deck pop off, right? There's like, you know you're dead, but you're like, I want to see... I want to see what it's like when you get to have it all. Live the dream, Jer. Show That's me. That's all this deck does. Like, there's no hoof in this deck. There's no. <laughs> there's no actual way to win. We're like all in combo druids. You don't need hoof. You didn't need hoof. You could have won maybe earlier with hoof, but it's not as if you needed to win with hoof. I mean, if you've got fifteen druids out, you can just punch them in the face if you have. Yeah, I mean that's that's the win con. It's like fifteen one ones is still fifteen damage, Paul. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I guess I suppose we do have finale of devastation. Sure. To make the O2s the into 12 twos, but yeah. 12 14s, but you know. Hmm. Hmm. Do you have double strike? No, you don't. All right. I'm probably going to mulligan this hand. I definitely should mulligan. This hand is dirt slow, but it has a lot of cool cards in it. So I'm just going to look at it you for a little bit. So I'm impressed that mulligan. you'd be showing everybody what you're going to be playing during the top eight competition. That's rather confident. Uh, <laughs> uh huh. To yep. Sh to show all your secrets. <laughs> Definitely the playing night before the big tournament, eh? Definitely playing Druid Tribal tomorrow. Yep. Good thing I know none of the top eight competitors will be watching the stream because they'll be too busy practicing, right? Ah. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, them gold fishing at home and you gold fishing on me, a dead opponent. I don't know if they're that different, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yes. It's Man. like, sure, this might be, uh, you know, an unusual deck to take to the top eight, but think of how you're going to just blow the meta way open. <laughs> People on, they won't expect this coming. That is true. No one would expect me to bring Druid Tribal to the, to the old top eight. Uh-oh. Uh, but I have no lands. I would like a free seven, please. They disbanded that rule in, like, a long time ago. What? Are you keeping your six? Uh, yes, I, I will be. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not like this. Put this card to the bottom. Sanctum Stompy, please. I mean, we had game. We had game. I can also see, before we started playing, Jared's like, gentlemen's agreement, nobody kills anybody's creatures until turn six. And I was like, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm like, joke's on you. Uh... You don't get a turn six. <laughs> <laughs> all right, first of all, rude. Like... I didn't kill any creatures. I feel like those... That's the, a lie, actually. I sacrificed my uh, Knight of Autumn. I feel uh, like those those, those gentlemen agreements are always a bad move. Yeah. Because presumably the person uh, giving, uh, proposing the gentleman's agreement yeah, no, is no, going to be getting a massive advantage. They think they are. Like, no matter what, someone's making a mistake. It's mm. more advantageous to one person than the other. Good luck to you, friend. You as well, sir. Go. Lanes go. I'll say forest go. Sylvan Library. 
the classic draw. Um, what did Foothills? Mm -hmm. I'll go find a Savannah. Bowling to five was tough, but it's okay. I will pay eight to bowl to seven. <laughs> Where's my Savannah? There it is. In this matchup, I don't. I think my life is more of a resource than the liability. So, I concur. I'll cast Rafelos, Lanoir emissary. That's a problem. And it says Elf Legend, but I can assure you, it's an Elf Druid. <laughs> All right. That is a legendary creature. Your turn. All right. Sylvan Library. One, two, three. Very interesting. Yeah, we can see on the uh, from Lurbot there with the Oracle text that it is in fact Rufalos is an elf druid, and just a happy fellow. Yeah, he just wants to make mana. That's feel, all he wants. I always feel so bad for Rufalos. He he does not know the war zone. He is just like happily sauntering into. Especially since he's a huge <laughs> removal man. Surge pays eight to unmulligan. Boo! Crowd! Hate it! Yeah. Die! Hate it! <laughs> Hang her back, Walker, for one. Shoot it immediately. Uh, pass. By which you mean walking ballista? What did I say? Walking. Oh, Hang her back, Walker. Okay. Hang her back, Walker. Walking ballista. Forest. Regardless, Rafelos must die. How about Priest of Titania? All right. Less Go threatened. Ahead. Less threatened. I'm going to uh, crack this bloodstained fire. Okay. And I'm going to go get a black source. Forehead. Ruffalo's just like, la 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 la. Swing. Yeah, like. <laughs> just, just a, a ballista. ballista. Yeah, plus <laughs> the bolt just like nails him to a tree. All right, uh, we're going to get this uh, Ravduel. Never stood a chance. Okay, so I feel like I've, I've slowed you down enough that I might be able to take a turn here. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play any elves in this deck. I wouldn't worry oh, about right, how much mana all... this is going to tap for. Gah, bah. <laughs> I hate that you're right. <laughs> all right, would you like to cut? No. All right, untap Sylvan Library. I'm um, going to play an Isolated Chapel. Yeah. Uh, four mana. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't win. Okay. Blossoms, draw a card. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pass. Excellent. Draw. I know. Let, if you go Elf, 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 and I don't know, we'll see what happens. No, it's not that bad for Okay. You. I, I wouldn't worry. I... Actually, actually, not that bad. Leaf Kindred. Okay. Not an Elf. Birds of Paradise. Not an Elf. Ah. Go. Aha! All right. Sylvan Library. One, two... Three. Ah. Okay. I think we can do some cool stuff this turn. I'm going to go like this. All right. First order of business. Sun Petal Grove. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to tap three uh -huh. and cast a Dryad of the Grove. Stupid sexy courser. Uh, draw trigger. Allows me to play a second land. That's pretty good. Which is a wasteland. Uh, I'm going to draw or cast a ethereal armor. Draw trigger. Strong. Uh, on the Eidolon. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. First strike coming at you. No, oh, thank you. <clears throat> Pass. Part of me. Ethereal armor isn't on your 
even on your updated deck list. What? What's the ethereal? Ethereal armor should absolutely be in there. Uh, that's bad. Okay. Your turn. Untap, untap, untap. Sylvan Library. One, two, three. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to draw that card. So let's start things off with a white mana for a Legion's Landing. That's uh -huh. not a Legion's That's, Landing. That doesn't look like it's Legion's Landing search. For a Legion's Landing. Much more better. Uh, that's going to draw me a card. Mm -hmm. So I should be keeping track of how many enchantments I have right now. One, two, three, four, five. Um, white, I've got the swords to kill your, your druid friend, so gain three. Two. It's a two four. Oh, it's a two four. You get a vampire when Legion Slam. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, I don't actually have any vampire tokens. Uh, give me half a second here. I'm going to go to the big old box of tokens. Quick, vamp for time. Whatever, I'll get them between games. I don't know where the big box of tokens is. This 1-1 one, one represents a, a vampire. This 1-1 one, one on a white sleeve. Excellent. On a pink sleeve. On a pink sleeve. Um, Idolin of Obstruction, one of the brand new cards. Really exciting. Draw trigger. And then this is now worth... One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to attack for ten. I'll block the two. All right. You do have a an O three. I do. <laughs> Which I will use. Go to go to you. <laughs> hmm. So you took eight there. Yeah. I thought you had thirteen. Uh, oh, gain, you gained gain two, two off you, of that. Yeah. Sword, sword, sure. my boy. Just making sure. Yeah, this is bad. Don't know how I survive, like realistically. How about unrealistically? <laughs> how would you survive? I could get hit by a meteor, Paul. I mean, all kinds of things could happen. Played your routes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tank here for a bit. That's fine. While you're doing that, uh, Paul, any idea where the actual tokens are? Uh, Jared thinks about stuff. I'm gonna pull out this flashlight and dig through the token mines. My cards don't do a whole lot. That's the real issue. You're playing a synergy deck, Jer. It's not supposed to do anything powerful. You um, killed my thing that did things. Oh, you're right. All right, that's fair. Uh, I'm going to cast Finale of Devastation for three. What, what's that one do? It searches my library and or graveyard for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less, and I put it onto the battlefield. Okay. And then it has the shuffle, and then if X is 10 or more, it gets Ugh. gets large. Yeah. I think instead of doing something cool involving my deck, I'm just going to be a butt and kill your fun. Be a butt and kill my fun. I'm going to get oh, Night, of Autumn's Night and... of Autumn and blow up your Eidolon. That's a two for one. It's actually a three for one. Why is it a three for one? Because I kill your ethereal armor, your eidolon, and I get a two one. Vampire? I'm looking for a one one vampire. Probably should have left this leaf kindred untapped. Blocks much better. But uh, T W. The lengths of which I'm going to get a... This is a 2-2 two -two vampire! 
<laughs> oh, I'm ruined. Oh, it's a white vampire. There's the problem. I was looking for black vampires. A classic blunder. Yeah. Give you one of these. That's even the right set of vampire. Yeah. Jer, that was very rude of you. Your turn. Uh, end step. I'm going to abrupt decay your night of on. Tough but fair. Dolan, I miss you. All right. Um, Can I interest you in going to three? <laughs> You're like mountain lightning bolt, GG. <laughs> All right, Sylvan Library. One, two, three. You have so many cards you could keep there, Serge. I do have a lot of cards here, Paul. You're right. I'm going to uh, pay for life. Not eight. Not eight, correct. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, first order business, attack for six. That looks like five. Uh, attack for five. <laughs> uh, and then Legion's Landing, I'm attacking with three creatures, so this is going to yeah. flip over to the other side. A Danto, the first fort. I'll go to two. All right, that's good stuff. Uh, second main. Hmm. Heavily problematic. Chalet. And this Grove Dancer. Sure. And uh, I'm going to say go, and hopefully Jared doesn't kill me. Not a good start. So everything except her has plain, has... Guardian Project. Text proof, right? It draws me a card whenever a creature enters. Non-token creature enters. The battlefield under your control. If it doesn't have the same name, yeah. Okay, so you cast four, and now you're paying three. Elvish okay. Arch Druid. Yeah, and you have any mana floating or no? Sure don't. Okay. Um, I'll play Temple Garden. Paying two? <laughs> <laughs> Out on your own terms! <laughs> Got there! Oh, man! <laughs> Don't even get the satisfaction of killing him. All right, oh, all right, all right. Me. Oh, why is it that even when I'm representing lethal on the board, I'm still just like <laughs> sweating bullets and just like, I don't know if I'm going to get there. <laughs> all right. What a game, my friend. What Jeremy's sending a message. Yeah, I've, I've now won two games. Surge is 1-0. Uh-oh. <laughs> Does that mean it's over? Wait, the score is somehow 1-1, one, one, even though Jair J has clearly won two games of Magic. One In, in one game, uh, he won the actual victory, and the other one, he won the moral victory, uh, which unfortunately does not actually get counted on the scoreboard. I don't get either the victory or the moral victory? I mean, wow, wow. No, no, you got the actual victory in the oh, second game. All right, I guess. Dang. This has been a fun matchup so far been pretty sweet. Your deck got to do its thing for a bit that Yeah, that game. even on the Mold of Five, it's just its ability to refill pretty quickly well, there. Well, Sylvan was pretty, yes. pretty clutch yeah. there, just yeah. like... I was worried with about Ethereal Armor originally. You, you are allowed to kill yourself with Shocklands, you just can't do it if you're at one. Yes, Jer had exactly two life. So you can pay the life that you do have, which is two, and it can take you to zero. But if Jer were at one life... Jer couldn't pay two life if he didn't have two life. It only works when you're at two. Exactly. So some people in chat are technically... They're, they're on the right track when they're thinking about that. But yeah, uh, yeah. what Jer did was legal. Le legal play. <laughs> yeah. uh, and big brain play. Cor correct play, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the galaxy brain play there. Yeah. It's pay two life when you're at... Ah! I needed to draw the card to find the shock land to end it. Yeah. <laughs>
All right. Uh, yeah, Let's clearly right. you're on the fence with ethereal armor because you didn't put it in your deck list. Yeah. Well, <laughs> judge, because uh, there's always a liability, right? Anytime you don't play do like me that. like that. Uh, yeah. I drew the only. Well, I have one like real land that doesn't make green in my deck, and it's a one lander. But I'm gonna keep it. All right. Because I have no respect. Uh, you're on the play. I'm going to. I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep. Or myself. And I have this card. Oh! Once, once upon, upon a time. time. Oh, don't do me like that. Okay. Not. Okay. 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 If it's the first card, you may cast it for free. Look at the top five. Okay. You may reveal a creature or land. Sure. There should be a alt win condition card that's like forest happily ever after. <laughs> There is a, if you started the game playing once upon a time. <laughs> there is an alt win con card called Happily Ever After. Wait, is there? Yeah. Oh, whoops. That's <laughs> Shiraga Tree Speaker, you're good. I mean Sol Ring. This got harder, Jer. I'm going to pay two life, uh -huh. which I can pay because I'm at 20. Yes, I concur. Uh, oh. Elf. I see your elf and I yeah. raise you elf. No. No, no, mine's Sol Ring. You Go. Don't, you don't understand. Oh. All right. Well, then the Happily Ever After card should reference the Once Upon a Time card. Bloom Tender. It makes some mana for each color of permanent I have. So okay. currently it just makes green. Here we go. This just got so much harder. Do you play Wasteland? Asking for a friend. Wouldn't you like to know? I, 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 I would. That's why I'm asking. I haven't seen it in two games. I don't know. Your friend doesn't sound like that good a player. Maybe, uh, maybe you shouldn't give him that info. Sorry, thinking. So... Here's, here's the dilemma I have. Uh huh. That's your only possible white source. I have a Wild Growth and I have a Utopia Sprawl in my hand. And I want to make double white. And I also want to be able to tap for three right now. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. So there's one line in which I just tap both of these, put them both onto this, but for it to be a white source, I have Has to go to get a Savannah. Savannah. And if it's a Savannah and you wasteland me, then I get. Um, Maximum Goozle. I get to be uh, sent into the Shadow Realm. But I'm trying to think if there's a world in which I get basic forest. If I get basic forest, that's bad. Then if I get can't. basic plains, I can tap this to put wild growth onto here. Then it taps for white green. Use the green floating, have a white floating to put this onto there, naming. That's probably better. Yeah, and then that name's white, and then that's for green and white, and I have a white floating, and then I have three mana? Yeah. That works? That works. DM, I do that. <laughs> I had to think it through out loud, and it doesn't really help if I just do a bunch of math in my head and then chant can't follow what I'm trying to do. <clears throat> Jared, casually looking at the wasteland he has in his hand. <laughs> so, uh... Aaron Mesa is going to get into the Plains. These are on tap. Tap Lanor L for a single green to cast Beta Wild Growth. It's important to know it's a Beta Wild Growth. Uh, tap these two. I have a green and a white floating. Use the green to cast Utopia Sprawl, targeting my underground tomb, overgrown tomb. When it enters play, name white. I have a white floating. Tap this for a green and a white. Cast. <clears throat> cast. Fabled Hero. That's not an enchantment. I know. Fabled Hero? That's another one of the cards I put into the, into the deck list, Paul. Curiouser uh, Fabled and Hero, Curiouser. Hero is a 2-2 two, two, double strike for one white white, and it has heroic. Whenever a spell targets it, it gets plus one, plus one counter after you, my friend. You have a my coast. Yeah. Primordial Sage. Whenever I play a creature spell, I draw. Okay, yikes. Go ahead. All right, um, untap, untap. You said you updated your tapped out list, eh? I believe I did. 
I'll double check between rounds and try and fix that. All right. Four, five? Oh, okay. I can do this. That's not what I wanted to hear. Yeah, because then it becomes... Yes. Archon of Sun's Grace. Sure. Uh, green... Not Rancor. Rancor, targeting Gross. my fabled hero. Uh, gets a plus one, plus one counter on it. I'll use a white dice there. Uh, I also get a 2-2 two, two flying Pegasus creature. I'm going to attack with a 5-3 double strike. So hit you for 10. All, All right. right. I'm going to get a Pegasus and then pass to you. Might Ugh. just be dead. Interesting. Ever so slightly interesting. You have two cards left? In hand, I have two. What are the odds they're good? One of them is quite good right now. Hmm. Well, I'm going to cast this Soul of the Harvest and draw a card. Okay. I don't know if we have any Pegasus. Um, you may go. This dice represents a 2-2 Pegasus. Soul the Harvest. Mm -hmm. That's a big lad. Quite large. We just need to draw a land, and I think I had you. These cards are powerful. Yeah, it is the welcome deck. Welcome deck one. Sorry, just thinking here really quick. Don't kill me. One, two, three. I think I have lethal. I just don't know which combination where I have to put things to get lethal. Because I, I have... need one more turn. I don't want you to have one more turn. That's 11 on the ground. Crap, butts. 10,000 butts. Eight. So I have an ethereal armor. This is the card I was saying that's really good. So plus one, plus one for every enchantment mm -hmm. I have. And I don't know if I'm supposed to put it on the Archon of Sun's Grace or if I somehow put it on this if I kill you. So I put it on this... It gets a plus one, plus one counter. Uh, so that's four, five, six. You put it on this one. You just put it on that one, and it's just big enough to punch through? Yeah, it's... It's got ten power with and double strike. A, so I'm it's got least. eleven power with double strike. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like dead 18 ways to Sunday. All right. I wasn't, I wasn't entirely sure, and I didn't want to <laughs> slow roll you on that. All right, friends. Uh, turns out Ethereal Armor, the card I thought I put in my deck, and Paul is cursing me because it's not quite there, uh, is powerful. That is round one. While we were hanging out outside here, two more rounds of Powerful Magic were played in the back. So we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, round two, and we'll update you on what happened. So stick around and see you after the break. Hello, and welcome back to, uh, what are we... Doing tonight, Friday night paper fight. It, it looks like the, the Friday Ray night. Run. What day is paper this? Paper fight. Friday on a Friday afternoon, morning. I seem to be sitting Friday across a table, witching hour from another human being, and I have an object in my hand. You're waiting at a train station. Where are you going? You don't you know. Stand in a meadow. That's in right. To the north of you is a white house. You extend from your hand. You reach out and hold a paddle. So there is a boat. Did you nearby. get stomped in round one, too? <laughs> kind of lost, yeah. Yeah, no, I, me too. That's why I'm here right now. I, like, felt like I was one mana short of doing some really good stuff multiple times. And I even had, um, I even had a defensive upheaval. Ooh. <laughs> so those are always Ooh. fun. And, and lost that game. Yeah, but I, I won game one and then I lost the next two. All it's right. okay. Well, All welcome right. back to round two of Friday Night Paper Fight. Uh, Winter Highlander League here on the Loading Ready Run streaming network. I'm Cameron. And I'm Nelson. And, and Paul, 
I had something to say. Sorry. Well, I was just going to say, maybe let's uh, let's take a look at that bracket and what see. What happened in all the matches? We both lost. Uh, yeah, so uh, we got uh, Search for Jeremy, where you saw on the camera. Uh, ben versus uh, Cameron and Nelson versus Alex, where uh, uh, Ben Wheeler and Alex came out on top. Current standings. Uh, I mean, we just started, so there's not 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 a lot of surprises there. But uh, now we're into round two. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got to vindicate a Caracas turn two. Yeah, that was pretty fun. So the, this was a this was a nice little story <laughs> time. I was eating a poutine as quickly as I could, mm -hmm. um, starting my match slow. Yeah. And I also won the die roll. Yes. So uh, battle you can stations. Start. So um, there I am wasting time. Go ahead, Paul. Sorry, Nils, your uh, I think your mic is just. Oh no. My mic is rubbing. It's the worst sin that one can commit at the LRR main base. Okay, I moved it a little. I blame Surge. That's a reasonable thing. Yeah, it's probably Surge's fault that there was a bit of feedback there. Sorry, everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Cameron starts off with the Dragon Soul Summit, but also he had he had mulliganed a couple of times. Oh, yes, he several to... times. That's why I have seven cards in hand. In, in the last match. Oh. Yeah, the beginning yeah. of round one. Go ahead. I mean, um, that, that game where I vindicated uh, Caracas turn two. But he... Where he, I vindicated a Caracas turn two. Uh, you I had multi five. Multi five. Yeah. So and I felt like a hero. There was... During the multi five, there was, you know, a typical amount, I would say, of kind of, you know... What's the word? Uh, Goblin Re bombardment? Reasonable complaining. A little bit of salt about mulliganing. We were a little bit sad. And then, next thing we know, Benjamin just couldn't have a land in play. And, and only had the one mana for quite some time. Do, do, do. I guess it's this one. Yeah, well, uh, Jeremy versus uh, Surge. Speaking of not having... Soap. Speaking, speaking of not having lands in Soap. play, uh, Surge had lands in play for a while, and then they became uh, lands that Jeremy had in play. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing against Jeremy. I don't know if I need to, or I get to play against him tonight, but uh, if I ever get to play against that Druid tribal deck, that'll be fun. Concealed, Concealed courtyard. courtyard. Uh, Druid slash snake slash elf slash tribal. White, yeah. Black. It's hard black. to put together a Canadian Highlander deck that's I all one tribe. I collect your sins, sir. Very well. I do, in fact, have... Several sins uh, to collect? A sin, yeah. A sin. I have I'll one take available game. sin. Oh, holy crap. And then okay. some other good stuff. There's some Exiled? big cards in there, yeah. See ya. Uh, you have to tell me if I'm just dead next turn. Not yet, no. Okay, good. Go. I feel like the definition of sins is a little overly narrow. Yeah, that's fair. That's a that's a spicy hand. Thanks. We make them spicy in my family. Crack. What can I say? Mama likes the cayenne pepper. Uh, we're probably just gonna do nothing. That's I'm kind of the, the captain <laughs> okay, of that. Good. Good. good I've got a Mystic good. Forge. I'm gonna exile some stuff. Bang the hammer. Uh, after all the talk about cayenne pepper and so forth. Yeah, exactly. Just, just, yeah, just probably fart around now and not get much done. I'll yeah. put it. I'll put a Tolarian Academy in my hand. So, if you haven't seen a deck like this function oh. before, this is the namesake card. You want to just have as many artifacts lying around as possible, so that you make unfortunate amounts of mana. Farting oh. around does happen sometimes uh, when Tolarian Academy uh, too spicy. That's uh, true too. Yeah, cayenne pepper farts. Academy ballista, huh? We've got okay. We've got three blue in the pool. Maybe I should borrow a little Theros thinger, and we'll make a white. We've got a. F we need to frantically search for stuff. So we're gonna draw two cards. Then I'll discard two cards. Played a land already. These don't seem super useful. And then I'll untap up to three lands. Wow, three. Um, we made a lot of mana with this thing. Sorry, I Storm I need to pay. Two? I need to pay for this frantic surge. I never did that. Uh, I'll float one blue. Thought that looked a little better than it should be. Okay, but I I am floating one blue mana off the frantic He's surge. Ahead. You know, can't keep getting away with it. Either one side or the other is in trouble when Cam starts singing during a. Uh, <laughs> magic game. Reason Reasonable. How many how many different uh, boop, 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 ways can boop, I get boop, boop. The, the, the stream muted? Luckily, I'm tone deaf, <laughs> so we're nowhere near. 
the maximum number. Okay, I'm going to make three more blue and cast a Mystic Forge. Row, row. Raggy. Hmm. 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 I don't super want to exile that, but on the other hand, what the heck am I going to go get? I guess like, there's probably something good in there. There's probably something I can do somewhere. Uh, go ahead. Cards in hand? Three. Probably played that all totally wrong. Like as wrong as it can get. 18. First blood goes to me. Yep. On me. You have taken first blood. Would you like to attack yourself for two? I would not. Okay. You could sacrifice your sin collector to deal yourself one damage. Legal plays. Nightmare Shepherd. There they are. Nightmare Shepherd. Okay. Um, oh, let's, yeah, let's get this beauty up here. Yeah. Um... More instants and sorceries in hand. I You've got the think, walking ballista. Yeah, I frantic searched. Out. I've played this. I frantic searched away this card that you knew. Frantic search. Yeah, you didn't know about that, but you knew about map and spire and some of this stuff. I think you don't know two of the cards in my hand, but but you still know one. Maybe that's right. I don't think you know all my cards, so. All right. Pew Maybe. Pew. Yeah. Shoot you one. Yeah. Uh, sure. Make a one one. Exile token. this as a one one. Sure. Um, ETB trigger. Is it right now or end of turn? Uh, right now. Okay. So I have a Paradox Engine, a Walking Ballista, and the Floria West. And the West. Yeah. Well, well I already have an Academy. Yeah, no, I might go not. find a Mox Opal. We'll see. All right, go. Okay. Okay, I'm looking at the top with Mystic Forge. Well, that's a pretty good one. Um, cast Soul Ring. Okay, that one's also... Fine. Do I am I playing the cat or the engine now? Possibly. Yeah, I'm not floating very much, but maybe that's okay. Okay. Five blue. Make a one-one ballista. And four more. I'll float four blue and cast the paradox engine. Okay. Then I'll go down to one blue and cast this obelisk on top of, from on top of my library. Okay. Uh, oh, I, I guess I'm supposed to respond to this untapped trigger, but I didn't. I'll try to do it next time. Um, I'll bang the hammer to exile this. Look at the top. Okay. So we ran a little dry there. That's okay. I'll cast... Tinker with the remaining manas that are there. Sacrifice my Great Furnace. It's a decent one, right? Decent card, yeah, Tinker. Tink tinker's fine. Just casually get, casually some, get some toys into play here. That's a good one. Got a few good ones. I think we're definitely on the just make some mana with uh, Mystic Forge plan this time. So we probably have to... He doesn't have one-shot robot. Yeah, exactly. Because we recorded a podcast to see on Monday. <laughs> oh, I have a trigger from Tinker. I will float two mana. Cheat step. Is that all right? Everyone cool with it? I have no idea what's going on, so I'm going to say yes. I cast the Tinker and yes. then started resolving it. Okay. So in a tournament with the highest possible stakes, mm -hmm. we would have fully have missed the trigger to untap oh. uh, all my non-land permanents from Paradox right, Engine. Right, right, right. Um, but I think we're playing at RELX in this one. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, no, I'll go get the Mind Slaver. Sorry, right. he's untap first. Two mana float. Raggy. I have a sac sack outlet on my board. <laughs> you make a... It's to any, any player. I wasn't kidding earlier when I rec recommended that play. It's to any... Okay, so this is Double in play. Double Bombardment goes to anyone. I look. That's not an, a colorless card. How disappointing. I don't really want to exile it, although it does give me a crack at another spell, so I guess I have to. This is a mature thing to do. I'll exile this Psy Master Thopterus that was on top. Taking a look. Okay, there we go. So that'll pay for that, and I'll float another blue and a green. Blech. Cast this from the top of my library. Untap all these things. Okay, look. Oh, I need to pay a life. I think I missed a life payment from Mystic Forge earlier. I've lost three from that. Oh no, this is from this. The... 
Yeah, in order that's to ditch the from card, this, you gotta two from that. Three, yeah. And then you shot me for one, so that's right. Okay. Uh, so no, I should be one lower as well, because this hit me for three, and I've taken two from my own Mystic Forge, and I'm about to take a third one. Sorry, everybody. Looking. Okay. Well, we're kind of out of juice. We don't have a lethal ballista, so we're just gonna mind slaver for value here. Response. Yep. Shoot me. Shoot you. Shoot me. Shoot you. I'm a twelve. Cool. Um. Wait, is this other? What another non tempo? Oh, I definitely should have used this Teleria West in my hand. Oh well, your turn. You control me during this turn. Yeah. There's a swamp in your hand, along with a flame wake phoenix and a grim haru specs. And a Plague Crafter. Well, I can't cast all of these. I probably don't want Flame Waker in your bin. Plague Crafter doesn't do much. Um, I can just get Haru Specs out of your hand to make you lose a life. That seems fine. Make mana. Cast this Haru Specs. Shoot you for one. You tapped it the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> all on tap. I don't even get to draw a card. Yeah. That's okay, though, right? Is when you go back and watch the replay. It's, see, see, Cameron he <laughs> tapped it. He would never tap it that way. His, <laughs> his turn must have been controlled by some outside force. <laughs> this is actually more upsetting than getting Mind Slaver. Just tap the wrong way. Wow. Sorry, Cam. Jeez. Jeez Louise there, Cam. Um, okay, I'll, I'll lose a life just to make mana here. Making a blue with Talisman Dominance. And I'll float a colorless which will be represented by this white. And then I guess another one, sorry. And transmute Teleria West. Uh oh. Oh, this isn't even a spell. That's okay, I'm gonna go get a spell. This one. Man, your, uh, all your foilies are really uh, not showing up well on the overlay. Oh, I'm sorry. Or on the card reader, I should say. I have cards. They are magical, I promise. They're made of genuine magic. Um, I'll cast this. Untap trigger from Paradox Engine. I'll yeah, look at the top card of my library. Hmm. Is, is Telerian West like a, a secondary campus of the Telerian Academy? Yeah, it's where they teach like, um, you know, culinary arts uh. and like plumbing and, uh, you know, all the IT stuff, right? It's kind oh. of like the vocational school. The whole city is your, is your academy, really. <laughs> Sixteen. That's not nearly large enough because you've got a sack outlet in your hand. It's definitely supposed to make you lose that sack outlet, so I can two turns you with walking ballista. But I just didn't think that's where my life was headed right now. You know? I mean, I can say the same thing, really. Nine. I got to exile Sahili. It's very sad. Ugh. All right. All right. I'll play a land for a turn, and maybe I just want you to make that your play. What do I even have? No, probably not. Go ahead. Cards in hand? One. Flame Wake Phoenix. Yep. Beats for two. I'm at seven. Um, misplay. Okay. Cheat step? Uh... <laughs> Cabal Therapy. I'll name Future Sight. No, you know what card's in my hand, don't you? Do I? Chat. Do I? Doesn't he know? Oh, Walking Ballista. That's a better let's one go to walking, name. Let's go Walking Ballista. It's a better one to name. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay. I could have been playing up. You, uh, would, you would have written it down. Your last card is, is an Edict. Yeah. How does this come back? You have to have a big creature? Yeah, I have to have a four power creature. One time. Look. Okay. Um. I mean, I'll make a blue, a green, and I'm sure a white. And then paying these three, I'll cast this worn power stone from the top. Trigger on the stack. I'll lose a life to exile this. Untap resolves. Uh, this comes in play tapped. Looking. 
Go down to five. Look. I'll float the same three again. Actually, I shouldn't be getting like a black mana here. Ooh, uh, sorry. Whoa, no, the Chaos Orb. There we go. You dropped the Chaos Orb? We're gonna. <laughs> That's where I'm from. <laughs> chaos Orb drop an old school player here. Word to the street. Yeah, I'll pay. Oh, I guess I float a colorless as well. Darn it. Just huge chunks of the floor just disappear. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then two colorless pays for a Mind Stone trigger. All right. Uh, yeah, untap. Okay, looking. Go to four. Okay, let's cast. Um, cast this midnight clock trigger. I'll add another. So it starts getting a little easier if you just like use extra mana and call it colorless. Right, right. right. Uh, this adds two, three, four, five, six. Okay, um, trigger. So this is Midnight Clock. I might put some of this mana into Midnight Clock. We'll see. We're looking here. Right. I'll go to three. I mean, you need, what, 24 mana into Midnight Clock to get a draw seven? Yeah, that's a kind of reasonable amount for this deck. It's not no, yeah, super I mean, nuts. It, yeah. It seems entirely plausible. Hmm. Three. It's not very many life points. Yeah, 36 mana. It's oh, 36? Two, two, it's three mana? I thought six, it was two. seven. Okay, 36. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I have 28 right now. So, yeah. I'm supposed to keep up seven, but put the rest. You've into already that. seen this card, so I'm going to reseed it in its perfect fit so. while I wait. That's fine. Because it's... Uh, it's falling out. Eight. Oh, I have a Mind Stone on the table. <laughs> I right. Don't... I should just crack that. That's smarter. Sorry, everybody. No, no. no. I'll sacrifice Mind Stone. Draw. I like the line from chat. It's Looking. amazing how close they both are to losing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use one of these mana and add an additional six. So I have 12. Oh, sure. And I'll float a blue again. Sorry. Cast Windfall? This is... Each player discards their hand and draws cards. The greatest number of cards player discard this way. In this case, one. So we both draw one card. Oh, sorry. Trigger. Untap these. That's okay from Paradox Engine. Looking. Okay. All right. Then I'll cast... Uh, this could be a black and a blue. Could hold Windfall for one. I'll do this and put five more mana in the pool in response. Um, is that okay? Resolve? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I will plus. Resolves. Looking at the top five. Aha! Mana Tithe would really get you here. <laughs> Reveal this. Yes. Mana Tithe would really get me here. Tezzer just walks in with like, what the, the bottom, heck right? is going on <laughs> over here? I just, ah, uh, whoa, jeez. Yeah, yeah, give, like give me a this sec. Give me a sec. This is my hand. Right. It's just like that Donald Glover gif where he walked. Danny. Danny Glover, different person, walks in holding all the pizzas and everything's on fire. Yeah. Only it's Tezzeret. Six, seven. Okay, seven mana, more floating. These can both be sixes. I'm running out of room here. Cast this, untap, trigger on the stack. I'll look. Ah, oh, do I go to two life? The thing is, you can, like, Probably draw a creature and then bombardment me. And I already need to unstable obelisk the flame wake phoenix. So I probably just can't afford to like pay that life at this point. I'll untap. Okay, it's time to dump a bunch of mana into midnight clock. So some of this is blue. Is that all right? Sure. <laughs> a bunch I mean, that of seems these two signets. Okay, cool. Um, do you need to make one, two, 12? three, four, five, six? Yeah. This is. You need to make at least 12 blue Eight. out of the 36. Yeah, that's probably right, though. Is this like, I have a, definitely two. Both players draw four. seven? No. Sorry. <laughs> no. Sorry, bud. I mean, I have a Tolarian Academy in case we need more blue. Um, okay. We'll so, spend 36. Both players draw seven. That seems fair. Okay, how many counters does 18 mana get me to start with? 
That gets me six. Yes. All right. Let's say that that's all right. If it's all right with you, that's fine by me. Great. So we got six counters. We need six more, right? So like, there's one. There's two. And now we need to not spend life points, but are you sure you don't want to spend two more life three. points? Three. There's three, yeah, exactly. Okay, let's put those counters on. So we're up to nine here. And then we'll spend these two mana to cast a Prismatic Lens trigger. And then, well, it's pretty clean if we just tap three more. Yeah. One, two, three, right? Blue, blue, blue. I believe you. When the 12th counter is, oh, I could have tapped this for mana too. Oops. Okay. I'll float a blue. Quick. Okay. When the twelfth counter is put on midnight clock, shuffle your hand. Do I have anything in my hand? No. Um, hand graveyard into your library, then draw seven cards. Exile midnight clock. So we got to do that now. We're exiling midnight clock. This is my yard. We're time twistering here. Just me. This has got to be the meanest thing. Uh, whenever I'm doing it on paper, on or sorry, when I'm doing it on arena with uh, emergency powers, it's like, and uh, and the one that makes all the the treasure tokens appear. Mm -hmm. What's that? What's that enchantment? Everyone in Commander loves it. You so go. you have to draw seven Smothering lands, here, right? Uh, well, like I might just still not draw Wincon ever. Hmm. Okay, things are pretty good for us. Us? <laughs> that includes me. Well, yes. You would think that. Uh, let me look. Okay. He, he's using the singular us. The singular us. <laughs> okay, I'll cast this off the top. And tap these. Look. Oh, that one again. Neat. Have you been okay. paying money? Uh, your Sorry. Telesma. Oh, it's only for the colored mana. The yeah, color. that's why I stopped trying to make sure that my... <sighs> yeah, we're okay. I did. I have paid life points into these, so this game. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Okay, we're going to float nine. It includes some different colors. Sorry, I got these out to be all appropriate, no, and, then, and then I realized that we need to go fast, and that's more important. <laughs> it's okay. all good. All right, we're going to float nine and then cast a Grim Monolith. You collector's edition Grim Monolith? <laughs> yep, that's what you get. <laughs> You like it. Okay, and then I'll put another 12 in and cast another talisman. I forgot what was on top. Right. Um, okay, we don't need to do that uh, or this, but we do need to do this. And it's time. 13 blue. This is important. Mm, okay, 13 blue. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. No, sorry, I counting wrong. <laughs> three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. More colorless. And we'll take six out and upheaval. Okay, I may it's have, kind of like a draw seven. I may have, yeah, exactly. You have all these cards in your hand now. Isn't that nice? Okay, I got this mana to spend. Um, I'm going to have to discard next turn. Probably. Six for one power stone. Oh, yeah, I guess we're supposed to play this stupid engine again. Everyone loves watching this, right? <laughs> it's everyone's favorite thing in the entire <laughs> world. Um... Okay, maybe we can save time and agree that this allows me to replay all this stuff. And also put some mana into play. Right. Then probably we can save a little bit more time, and by floating mana I can play this guy, and then this guy again, because I have all this stuff. And then I'll uptick again. Uh, yeah, I'll reveal this thing. I'll cast it. I have some mana. Mm -hmm. And then I I don't can't remember if I played a land for the turn or not, but it's <laughs> it seems not super relevant. <laughs> I'll tick this up. I have some mana floating. I'll say go. Is everybody okay? I took some shortcuts. 
But like we, we showed off this plus this plus this, right? So that, you know, everyone can see how it turns into this, right? Swamp thought sees you. I have a Wheel of Fortune I didn't cast just because I didn't want to make us go through the, the process. And that's a bunch of lands. <laughs> yes, I take your Wheel of Fortune. Take it. You got it. Go. All right. We're going to untap. We'll draw this one. We actually did have another Wheel of Fortune on top, but we're going to just minus four Tezzeret instead. So Do this... I get to die? Yes. One, Thank two, you. three, four. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think it was nice. enough. I think at the Tolarian Academy, that was like a problem that one of the professors was like writing on the blackboard and then had to like pull in like the second blackboard and continue writing. Well, there's a famous story about um, von Neumann. This where, is a, a scientist or yeah, a mathematician? Yeah, a, a, okay. a mathematician. All um, right. Uh, you know, famous for von Neumann machines. But uh, he was teaching an undergraduate class and he wrote something on the board and one of his students asked him like, wait, did you just prove a new theorem? And he looked at the board for a little while and he walked out of the classroom <laughs> and didn't come back. <laughs> and then the next time the lecture was in session, he walked back in and said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get to die? <laughs> yeah. You have my permission to die. <laughs> So what just 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 for for those playing along at home, so the actual win condition there was Tezzeret turning a bunch of the artifacts into things. No, uh, it no, was just it was draining tesseret, them. desert draining. Oh desert, desert, yeah. desert drains based on how many artifacts you have. Well yeah, there's a few Tezzerets in the deck and, and one of the ways you win is to turn them all into uh, creatures and attack them, but that one just counts how many artifacts you have, then doubles it, then makes your opponent lose that much life. Right. Okay. And you gain that much life. So I think I had more than 10. Oh. If not, I just cheated. Cameron's happy my... either way. Yeah. <laughs> as like, as... I was just like, F6? As long as that game is over. All right. So, seems like there's still more than two of you watching. That's good for me. <laughs> it's good. I haven't completely destroyed that and broken the stream with my Paradox engine. I go first. Sounds good. Good luck to you, sir. Good luck. Hmm. Well, this is actually kind of good. Sweet. I think. No, wait, this is terrible. But I'm keeping it. Oh, no. You seem like you have a slow deck. Um. All right, yeah, sure. Why not? You're keeping? I'll keep two. Woodland Cemetery, go. Hmm. Great Furnace, go. Don't bolt me, bro. Green. Noble Hierarch. <laughs> Noble Hierarch. Isolated I'm Chapel. I trying to say it worse. Okay. Isolated Hapel. You got it. Go. Aspire of Industry. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to bolt you. I'm sorry. This is the world we live in. Yeah, the world is what we make it, really. Yeah, go ahead. Look, we both have two lands. Everything is fair. I haven't even accelerated. You want to go for beers after this? <laughs> yeah, alone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Sacred Foundry, ouch. Um... Whoa, Strider. Whoa. Whoa, Reaver on the table. Whoa, Reaver. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, Weaver. Blow, Jeeber. Go. Me I brought my that. lunch from home. <laughs> yes. Bah. Whoa, Reaver. The one who is most woeful. Let's play a game. Azorius Signet. Okay. City of Traders. Sculpting Steel. Copying. Azorius Signet. Hmm. Back to you. Om nom 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 nom. Nom nom nom. Must scry. Always must scry. Must never not scry. Shh. 
Sure. Hmm. Think, think. Ouch. Attack. It hurts. Um, are you really at 16? Oh, okay, from yeah. shocks. Uh, Paging Dr. Plateau. Dr. Plateau, Dr. Badlands needs you in the uh, battlefield. Tide Hollow Sculler, hold priority. Yeah. Sack Tide Ho Hollow Sculler. Yeah. Scry oh, one. Oh, baby. Uh, keep on top. First trigger? Yep. So we got, it can be anything, can't it? Yeah. Not land. We got Wargate, we got Memory Jar, we got Ugin. They're all kind of castable. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, Memory Jar gets your strider or your thing back. What does Eugene do now? Memory Jar doesn't get things back. It just draws seven cards. You, yeah, so six mana Ugin can kill a thing or three, make four, two five. twos. Yeah, because you're going to have six mana next turn. I have six mana now. This is two, right. three, four, five, six. These are just right, two signets, right, right. so... Six, so I can kind of cast any of them. Although I'm not going to activate Memory Jar next turn unless I like. I think I have rip to get rid me. of Ugin. It I'm, just it seems the fun. the passive yeah. ability is too powerful yeah. for your deck. I think there's a good case for all. I think Memory Jar is actually the last pick here. Yeah. Um, I attack with Wo Strider, right? Yeah, that that was okay. just the first time that happened, right? Yeah. Um, and then you cast Tide Hall Scholar, and it's still yeah. your turn. Uh, oh, sorry. This is Exiled. Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah. You don't always have to be excited about getting your hand attacked, but when it's from a sexy play like Sacrifice Tide Hollow Sculler with the trigger on the stack, you have to you have to get a little bit. I don't know. Ooh. Look at those magics. Someone's doing powerful magic over there. I swear to God I have equipment in this deck. Yeah, you probably do. I mean, I feel like I did. <laughs> did you leave your Sword of Light and Shadow next to your Garrick? Boom, boom. Get him. Damage is, comes a-knocking. Go. Okay. Blue, blue, white, white. Green. Wargate me? Wargate for zero. Get Academy? Yeah. Okay. That's how we do. That's the way we do it. This is how we do it. It is actually Friday night. Mm. Uh, so City, did I just, City of Traders dies? No, it's no. only when you play a land from your hand. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're all right to cast some Rampant Growths. The traitors also get to rampant growth. Oh. Let it be known that the traitors may harrow. According to this document, comprehensive rules text. Here you go. Do your worst. This taps for three. Yeah, I'll just. I'm just gonna cast this memory jar. All right. And then I'll also cast this lotus petal. Okay. And say go. Maybe I should run blood moon. Yeah, probably. Oh. I should run blood moon in the stack. Yeah, you should. Wait, you're three colors <laughs> and you don't have any colors. basics. You're four colors and you have no basics. I'm four colors. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Great. That's yeah. like the opposite of blood moon. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Were you off a color? Not anymore. Yeah. Well, if it was this color. Um, Are you tired of Ancient Tomb killing you? Let me help you out. <laughs> Didn't want to pay mana for or pay life for your fetch lands? Recruiter of the card? Yeah. Toughness two or less? What I should be getting here is Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. That's a sexy draw. I guess it's a seven mana Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, though. Yeah, and I can't play. You already have turn. a free sack outlet, though. 
Yeah, I already have a free sack outlet. You just want a big bad flyer. Cards in hand? One. You gonna grab ravenous rats? Mesmeric Fiend. Okay. Someone in chat. Oh, yeah, it's Para. Yeah, Para Nundrox recommends finding Collector Oof. Mm. We tapped our green mana, though. Okay. Are we casting the Fiend, or...? We are, then we're holding priority. That's fine. Can it take a land? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, right, it is the Flooded Strand, isn't it? All mm, right, yeah. I thought I drew this. Oh, have you looked at my hand since I drew this? I can't remember. Yeah, Tide Hollow okay. Sculler. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was two turns ago. I drew the slowest pedal. Right. Okay. Yeah, it was the flooded strand. I should have written that down. Okay. Anyway, I get to scry one. Yes. These are just like cards that do things. Hmm. You know, no, that doesn't win me the game. Beep, beep. Beep. I take four. It I hurts. take four. Go. All right. Let's goof around and do nothing. Uh, yeah, we just put these aside. I'll sacrifice memory jar in my main phase. All right. So put your hand aside. It's face down, sorry. Face down. And you can't look at it. Draw seven cards. Okay. Got some good ones. Oh, man. All these will win me the game. There you go. All of them on the spot. I will cast a jeweled amulet. Um, cast an expedition map. Uh, huh. Tolarian Academy is already in play. That's right. Cast a grim monolith. I'll pay a life. Cast a crop rotation. Is that okay? Yep. Uh, I probably just want another one of these. Oh, I guess that one works. Yeah, sure. Get a deserted temple. You may good. And I'll cast... Um... Supposed to trans. Okay, this is five mana. Two of it is blue. Mm -hmm. I'll transmute Teleria West with two colorless floating. All right. Good thing I presented my deck to cut. Good thing I didn't cut it. Ha! There we go. You bested me in that exchange. Mox Noble. Recently banned from Modern, paying for Urza's Sins, I hear. Mm. Uh, I'll cast it, tap it for a blue, and a generic to cast this Ethereum Sculptor. Really should have cast this earlier. Just been trying to chew through my hand quickly. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine artifacts. And then uh, we'll tap the temple down to eight. And then another nine brings us to, what is that? 17 mana. It's all blue! We probably even have a blue one of these. Or a prettier blue. I've been trying to get basically this nail color. Oh, kind of like a denim? Yeah, yeah. or navy. But I just haven't seen it, and so I'm just letting this, this cute sort of hot red chip off. I'll pay for this time spiral in my hand. So we're going to do some more moving around of cards. So the exiled pile from Memory Jar stays okay. in exile, and then we take the rest of our hands in graveyards and shuffle them into our library. Do the ho hokey pokey. Turn yourself around. Pat yourself on the back. Mm. And I untap up to six lands and then exile Time Spiral. All right. There was a brief period in the rules, I believe, where Time Spiral didn't really do anything because they put the exile this claw sentence first. So it was like, cast this. Okay, now exile it from the stack. It has some other stuff on there, yeah, but don't but worry it about matter. it. It could have said anything. Yeah, exactly. Okay. This would be a really good card if it did anything. <laughs> exactly. 
you want to cut? No. Okay, I don't want to cut either. Okay. Well, I'll cast this Paradox Engine. All right. It's all right. It costs one less mana. Do I get to draw cards too? You draw seven cards. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. I think I can make this one pretty quick. These go away? Sorry. Five. Untap my things. Oh, again, I should have one more mana because of Ethereum Sculpture. Darn it, Ethereum Sculpture is making everything so slow. Um, okay. I... One, two... Oh, sorry. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm floating in the generic pile. And then we're going down to... Six. Cast this one. Try to untap things more gracefully. Okay, we have a Mox Opal and a Missouri Signet. Okay, so those can add, this can add a green and then use a Colorless to make a blue white. And then we need fully six more mana. So we're only floating five now when we cast Wargate for six. Cool. I'll also take this opportunity to crack the Expo map. F6. Okay. The six mana Wargate. It's going to find Mind Slaver and the Expo map. Oh, no, he's on his phone. Sorry. Hold on, I need to look something up. Great. Oh, okay. It's related to the game. <sighs> Everything's fine. Everyone's having fun. Right, children? You're all enjoying this. Entertainment. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Holding hold on. on, holding hold on. Hold on. I've stopped. Nice. I see it. You can all see it. Okay, this is in my hand. I honestly can't remember if I played a land for a turn, but it doesn't super matter. I'll use some mana and Mind Slaver you. On okay. You, on, do you want to respond to Mind Slaver? No. Obviously no. not. You have six. <laughs> obviously not. Okay. It's your turn. You untap. Oh, I, sorry. I, End of turn triggers. End of turn triggers. Do I throw oh, no. away all my good cards? Oh, no. We're super still playing Magic because I forgot. <laughs> I think I actually haven't played a land yet, so I probably should have, like, tanked harder or whatever. This is supposed to be in play, and I forgot about my own memory jar trigger until I saw your hand. So that's fine. Let's put my Academy Ruins in the bin, and then you get your other cards back. I throw away all these cards, right? Yeah, they just all go to the graveyard. Blooming Marsh. Wooded Foothills. Sulfurous Springs. Crackling Doom. Colagan's Command. Mm, that's a good one. Flame Walker. Hey, you've got a Flame Wake Phoenix in your bin. You're up. You're up a Flame Wake Phoenix. Yeah, now I draw a card for the turn. Do oh. I get to see it? Yes. Okay. Ooh, ball there. Ah! Target player. Wow, that's good. I mean, <laughs> sure. I guess I'd rather you not have this war gear in play. All right. Uh, pay one. <laughs> I mean, he's still going to have Woats Rider next turn. I don't have a way to exile it. Okay. Uh, target myself. <laughs> Name Yogmoth Thran Physician. Uh, target myself. Exiling this. Ch checking in. <laughs> checking yourself Name in grafted, for Valther. Name Grafted War Gear. Oh, this only sacrificed another creature. Wait. i, I got to do this right. Cheat step. Sacrifice this. Back up. Sacrifice this to Scry. This is still in play. Scrying one. Yeah, you can keep that. Okay. Uh, scrying one again, you can keep it. Casting Cabal Therapy, Sacrificing Most Rider, Target Myself, Name, Grafted War Gear. Okay. Flame Wake Phoenix doesn't trigger, makes some mana. Back to Nelson. Uh, this doesn't untap. Untap. It's time to start attacking for one. Oh, yeah. Play a land for the turn. We probably didn't even play that land monster, Smash Spawn Game Monster. Feeling bad for Cam. Yeah, he's good at he plays that he plays that card well. Boosh. Good work, I Ethereum Sculptor. Proud of you, buddy. Uh, do I have any way to like peek my deck or draw cards? No, who needs them? Um, Taps Academy for some mana, cast a worn power stone, things untap, except for the worn power stone. Go. It's your turn. We're playing magic. You're back in it. You have to un F6. 
I, it looks like you're a really obnoxious player trying to like help Cam. Go! Like, no, 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 no. This is what you need to do. Here's, <laughs> play a one one. Hand. Go! <laughs> what, you should, what you should do is play this card and then play this card and I'll then put play a, this card. I'll put a green mana into this thing. There we go. Let's tap all my lands to do it. That's important. Huh. Tropical Island. You have a Butcher Ghoul now? I do. Go. <laughs> Can't get through that guy? Go! Oh, boy. Uh, actually, do you mm, attack? Attack. Yeah, I'll block. Okay. Get a 2-2. Two -two. Get a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Flooded Strand. Mm-hmm. Back to you. Hissing Iguana. Okay. <laughs> Attack. No blocks. All right. Um, do you have an instant? Oh, you have Wargate. Yep. Goodbye, Wargate. Seven. Go. I have a Mystic Confluence in here, too. Eh. Hmm. I gotta figure out how much mana I have. 13 blue. Then I went down to 12 and up another 13, and then I added a red. And then I cast this frantic search using two colorless and a blue. I feel you should untap your basics. I don't have any. Go! Drawing two. Discarding two. Untapping three lands. Thinking. Doesn't really do anything yet, does it? No. Go. Uh, white scully. <laughs> sure. There you go. <gasps> well, that was unlucky. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, don't take the hand attack spell. There's nothing many in your deck. Yeah, no, fair enough. And like most of the time, I would just play something here, but I didn't want you to get to attack my planeswalker, and I couldn't defend it. Um, that's all I mean. Attack. Uh, can I read Hissing Gwinner? Any creature. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, no blocks. All right. Fine. Uh. I take your frantic search. Yeah, I'm just know. doing it now so I remember. I'm at three. Go. Hmm. Okay, I'll cast copy artifact. Row, row. I will choose Tide Hollow Sculler. Do you have any cards in hand? No. Go. Oh, feel man, sir. You got it. Snakes alive. Uh, fish beats. Yeah. I'm dead. All right. Well, that one was a bit more dramatic. <laughs> so, you you started. You clearly started popping off there. There you go, there you go. I top deck things with power and toughness. <laughs> like, you clearly started popping off there and then just kind of ran out of steam, eh? No, I didn't run out of steam. I I mean, I misplayed into a game loss. Yeah, yeah, Dilbert's got me. So, can anyone remember if I'd played a land that turn? The turn I uh, memory jarred. I don't think I had played a land, but I definitely didn't want to, like, play a land after I couldn't remember and wasn't sure. Okay, I had proper to that turn. That makes sense. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I like... I was a little unsure if I had played one, which is this weird thing in the game where we don't... I mean, some people have a trick or two that they use to be like, this is how I know I've played a land or not. I mark it down. But then, if you don't do that, which I don't, I just never developed that habit. Um, if you can't remember if you played a land, you're, you know, you're either just suboptimally playing or you're cheating. 
if right, you, if you right, play right. land or don't play land. So I definitely didn't want to cheat cam there. No, um, that's, that's reasonable. And I thought I was okay to just leave it and not um, not have to play a land that turn and just play the Academy Ruins the following turn, mm. which is why I sacrificed the Expedition map, and I made that um, decision after forgetting I was about to discard all my cards to Memory Jar. It was right. a punt. Happens. Yeah. Happens. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, our punt counter. It's actually above one, but there's a good one. There you mm. go. Yeah, no, that was a mistake, and then I just didn't draw my way out of it. Can't believe you peeled Cabal Therapy on my turn. Cam's still salty about that game you just won. <laughs> Is everyone seeing this? He's salty about beating me. Good for you, buddy. Yeah, I got that, <laughs> finally. I'm proud of you. I'll play first. Oh, right. And Mulligan. <laughs> Look at this man. Just, I, I just like, you know, you go to the Cabal and you're just like, uh, I just, I want to talk to somebody. And they're like, oh, that's great. Here, here's a torture chamber for you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. We've got a place where you can talk to anyone you want. I, I, I feel like this is not the kind of therapy I needed. I, I, I'm going to check myself out right now. Yeah. Hubris player. I like that. Okay. Let's try again. <laughs> Just cut your deck in half. Okay, we're going to keep this one. Do we need that? Yeah, uh, maybe not actually. We can afford to just do that. No, that's worse because of that. Okay. We battle. I'm gonna do this and this. I'm a 19. We're okay. playing commander, boys. And I guess I have one floating. Yeah, sorry. I, I got a colorless floating. You may cut. Okay, Kalil is floating. We'll cast a Coalition Relic. Make a blue. Cast an Ethereum Sculptor. Go ahead. Draw a card for the turn. <laughs> um, Urborg. All right. Yep. Blood Soak Champion. Go! Your, your creature comes back, so that's probably good. Probably better than my creature. Go. I mean, they do trade. Yeah, maybe that's the right play. Um, Marsh Flats. Beats. It's empty. Uh, 19. Find a Savannah, which is conveniently white-bordered. Nice. Ah, yes. The convenience of white borders. It's important to enjoy the little things in life. Mm -hmm. Your favorite expansion symbol. A foil that doesn't curl. What is your favorite expansion symbol? The smell of fresh cardboard out of a new fallen pack. Mm. Um, my favorite expansion symbol... Mine is Antiquities. That is a great question. Yeah, I mean, I do like Arabian Nights a lot. Um, I like Lorwyn a lot, too. What the heck is happening in Lorwyn? AVP? Yep. Go. Okay. One tap. Scalding turn. It's so spicy. Pay so one mana for a Zoraeus Signet. Go. Inspiring Vantage. Um. Can I get some windfall chanting in the crowd? In the crowd? Cards in hand. Cards in hand. Cards in hand. Zero. 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 Urza Saga is a good one. Um, Goblin Bombardment. Oh, yeah. Uh, Perry Mirror. Yep. Beats.
15. All right, go. Charging. Untap. Draw. Make blue. Venture Sphere. I did like during the, uh, with the special compacts they did a little while ago, uh, of from, you know, cards from all different sets and things. They specifically used printings from lots of like weird sets, like oh, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. dual decks and different things like that. So there'd be, so there's all sorts of expansion symbols that you've never seen before. Yeah. That, that one's probably right. I don't think... I mean, mind slavering you once is tempting. You have three cards in hand and three mana. Mystic Forge or Sensei's Top are both kind of exciting too, but I think the right play is just Memory Jar. Oh, I'll, I'll fetch the 14. Is that okay? Yep. I have some whiteboard cards too. Hmm. And then I'll cast this. This only costs four because of the theory sculptor. Go. I live. Oh, yeah. What is this living? Um, all right, team. This turn, we're going to make plays remembering we have to discard our hand at the end of the turn. Attacks. Ethereum Sculptor blocks Abyssin Pilgrim. I sack Abyssin's Pilgrim to Goblin Bombardment and shoot you in the face. Thirteen. Combat damage? Uh, occurs. 10. Whoa, Whoa. Strider. Whoa, st Whoa, Strider. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get you off your beat. Oh, no, it's okay. I don't mind. Low Rider. Low. Whoa, Strider. Do, 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 Hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. The Woe Strider. Uh, probably these ones? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll do this. It only costs me two mana. Okay. Or sorry, I get to float two colorless. That's what I mean. It doesn't cost me any mana. Mm. I'll move this to five. And tap these. Sacrifice memory jar. We each draw, discard our, or don't discard our hands. Put your hand aside and draw seven. Okay. All right, I'll play a land for the turn. I've played a land for the turn. I will... Make a blue and a white and a green. Wargate for zero. All right. Is that okay? Uh, it resolves. Put this academy into play. have a colorless floating. I'll cast Talisman of Curiosity. All right. Um, am I doing this? I don't think so. Am I doing this? I probably should. Do I have a blue? I have some blue. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blue. I'll use this and two of these to cast Fabricate. Uh-oh. Is that okay? Yep. Well, I mean... <laughs> right. It's as okay as things get. Mm-hmm. this one just good enough yet? Yeah. Do I have 10? Yeah, I do. Okay. I can try to do this the easy way. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I'll get Mindslaver. I was going to get a Paradox Engine, but I think this saves the stream from having to go into next week. You make a... Five... Sorry, cast with four floating. Mm -hmm. um, untap this. Float. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight artifacts, I believe, right now. All right. Yeah, and then use the other four I had floating to target you with this ability. Okay. Okay. Now then, am I still doing this? I don't think I need to. Probably should just do this. Yeah, sure. I'll make a 4-4 four, four walking ballista. Mm -hmm. Oh, I still have a blue floating. A 4-4, four, four, you say? Yeah. I guess that only cost me 7. Okay. Uh, cards currently in hand? 2. And mana? 1. Do I get a 4-4? Four, four? Yeah, it hits the table. Okay. I'll say, I'll say pass. Yeah. Uh, Shoot it. Sacrifice uh, Perimir. Yeah. Do two damage to it with Perimir, one with Goblin Bombardment. Okay, it's got three damage marked on it? Yes. Okay, this is in the graveyard? Yeah. Uh, sacrifice Goat to Goblin Bombardment to do one more damage to it? Sure. I'll... How does this work? I can only shoot you at something for one, right? It's got three down. I'm supposed to respond to the first volley of damage, I think. I don't play this card in modern enough. If you... Yeah, when you get priority again after removing a counter, it'll it'll just go to the graveyard from lethal damage. So yeah, I'll just respond by shooting you for one. Okay. All right, and on my turn, you control my turn, right? Yeah. Pow, pow. Me? I'm at eight. Okay. Uh, now I discard... Discard your hand, yeah. And Goodbye, pick up any cards. other cards you have. Okay. And you get... Sure. This is some good stuff. I'll just tap your lands. And say go to me. Okay. Untap. Ooh, what do I have? Draw. Okay, I'll minus five Tezzeret. Mm-hmm. So artifacts I control become five, five creatures until end of turn. I die. And I'll attack you for 35. Okay. <sighs> I'm, I think we both missed that you had a play available there where you can goblin... Oh, maybe you can't. I can't. You, have you can't. Life. Oh, can you goblin bombardment Tezzeret? Because it says creature or player, so maybe it means creature or player. He's a planeswalker. Yeah, okay. So I just don't actually know the rules text on goblin bombardment. It's possible we both missed that you could have pinged this down. Because I went in on it. I like mind slavered you just once, thinking I'm right. going to win with this minus five. And possibly that was just another I, Yeah, I guess that me. was a misplay. <laughs> was it... Does it say planeswalker on it? Oh, no, not Goblin Bomb. <laughs> yeah, that, you could. Okay, all uh, right. That was a punt for me. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, well, it means it was a punt for me, too, because I shouldn't have gone in on that play because it was all on board. All right. <laughs> uh, we finished our match. Yeah. Uh, you played really well. Thank you. Yeah. So did you. Yeah, you earned that high five from Ben because it's pretty tilting to try to win through your opponent taking your turn and stealing all your stuff and blowing all your stuff up. Uh, but you did it, so good job. Yeah. Uh, We've got one more match. Who hasn't been on camera yet? Uh, Just Alex. Alex be... and... Is it Ben Wheeler? Yeah, no, Alex... he's been on camera already. Oh. He couldn't wait his turn. It's going to be Alex and Ben uh, playing, and as you might uh, imagine, I believe the other games are complete now, so uh, we'll go to a quick commercial break, and uh, we'll be back Sweet. in just a minute or two. Thanks. Have a good night.
for me. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. All right. This is really I bad like on my voice. Chicken. I like liver. Meow, mix, meow, mix. Please deliver. I don't know what you're referring to. It was a bit that, um, comedian. What? The cat face. got your tongue because cat have my tongue. Hi, everybody. He I'm on SNL. Ben Snow. And he did a series of movies. Okay. The, the first one was a parody of James Bond movies. Garfield. Bill Murray. Bill Murray. What played Garfield on Snow on sure. SNL? Which yeah, okay. made Jim anyway. Davis really upset. This was great. It is great. Yeah, like we're just so, having fun. So, I mean, we're going to have to have, like, chill memes this time because your voice is, like... <clears throat> no, I can still uh, uh, shriek like a baboon. Well, I shouldn't. Uh, um, we're playing Canadian Highlander. Yeah. yeah. We, and uh, we're in the 2-0 bracket. Oh, yeah. Which we, is... We die as state-based actions. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm going to die to a lot of things because my creatures are very fragile. Oh. Um, Why would you say that? Well, here's the thing. Well, yeah, I'm we, not... take a, we can take a look at the standings here. So, Ooh. in uh, round two, we got uh, Nelson. Uh, what about uh, uh, Alex? Alex, how did you do against Surge? Um, it was actually like, uh, it wasn't like a rollover. He really outstripped me game two because he got like tons of lifelink stuff and he had like reach creatures. Um, I forgot that uh, the new spell, Speed Duel Gigante, uh, makes one twos every time I cast an instant or sorcery. Oh, the five, the five drop spider. That's real bad. That's scary. Well, the card's good. Card's yeah. Good as heck. But, but you, uh, uh, but you won that against. Uh, eventually, against yes. I, I mean, I, won, I lost one game, but I won games one and three, which is always the most exciting. Uh, and uh, Ben, you uh, won the day against the the fearsome uh, druid. Tribal. Cats, cats showing that. Sorry, I'm getting my commander ready. Cats showing that they are the superior tribe in green uh, and white. Although I will, I mean, <clears throat> some of the good cats carried the bad cats, but I will say that Jeremy cast a couple of draw sevens, and they were some of the worst draw sevens I've ever seen with any deck that that I drew. No, it's funny that you mentioned that because, like, I. Um... We got memory jarred twice. Well, I got memory jarred twice. Yeah. And I think he bricked on those. I've. <sighs> yes. Sorry, sorry. Does do, does playing cats give you the ability to have a commander mm -hmm. in uh, Canadian Highlander? Oh, thing? my apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and cast this for my command zone. I, I mean, I don't know all the rules for Canadian Highlander. So uh, it's entirely possible. Well, as a counselor and the premier cat pilot of the format, I just added the I, rule. I bow to your superior judgment in this scenario. That's dangerous. Yep. Um, speaking of dangerous, I have a playable seven. You've got a playable seven. Let's Would you mess like to this count? up. Speaking of messing up, um, you had a... Wait, what? I won. Oh, I okay. rolled ten. You rolled eight. And my cat brain... Uh, now, this isn't a cat, but she owns a cat. I'll pass it to That's him. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a couple of not cats in here, but they own cats. It's canon. You had a a very spicy uh, uh, series of uh, game interactions that you made. That's they were they were exciting. Involving Croxa, the new red black titan. Yep. And Caracas. That it was pretty dumb. That's disgusting. Well, uh, my team. I feel like uh, with your deck being named. Pyro Lander, we may be getting some uh, some real uh, f real warm cats here. I mean, I, feisty... I, I hope Mardu colors have removal. Now, I know this isn't a cat, but I know I've played two cards and neither of them are cats. But you'll have to bear with me. Uh, I'm just going to put two counters on this and pass. She, See could, the... she could be carrying like a cat, you know, just like up on the, in the saddle or something. I mean, she's Selesnia. So I assume they like cats. That that just makes sense to me. <clears throat> I didn't just go willy nilly. There are there are a couple of cards that are honorary cats in the list, and there are a couple of cards that are just cat owners. 
Uh, we currently just have two owners in play. Scrub a dub dub. Well, at least they have something to talk about. Yeah. So, uh, got any cats? Oh, love love them. This is absolutely brutal. I'm going to lose to this card. It's not going to get I'm, any better. I'm going to. I will. Okay, this is not. All right, so I may okay. have a series of cards in my deck that are X1 creatures. That is unfortunate. <sighs> Uh, I've always wanted to play this card. Cat? Hey! I will not... I'm going it. to pass. Okay. I will draw a card. Uh, <laughs> it's the Cat Fern of Souls? <sighs> yeah. Uh, oh! Uh, oh no! I'm an asshole. Alright, <laughs> right, chat. This might not be... Might not be the most spectacular showing for cats. This one. Sure. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, you hit a an Oresco Swift Claw, which is a X uh, a three one cat. Awesome. And you hit a Metallic Mimic, which is a two one, that is a cat. Both oh. cards that would uh, be dying to Dark Blast. Europe. Uh, Fourteen. Go. Fetch. I seem to have drawn all of my X1 cats. That is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. Uh, gentlemen's agreement to remove Dark Blast from your deck for game two. Well, hang on. And then we throw it back in for game three. Um, uh, Gonna uh, have to go with negatory. A resounding then. yes. Alright, I need some honorary cats stat. Draw. Let's make some homies. Sure. Uh, I, I will attack I you for attacked. two. Yep, 12. Ah! Go. <clears throat> Alright. What you're mm -hmm. saying is that Dark Blast is the only thing that stands between Alex and Complete Oblivion. I mean, I don't want to sound too full of hubris, but yes. Don't get two hubbers. Like this just uh, this is not good. Uh, go. It's okay. Uh, let's flash back this yeah. card. Get in for four. Many damages. All right. <clears throat> You're up. Oh yes. Yeah. We had a playable that doesn't die immediately. Awesome. Uh, it's Miri Cat Warrior. Miri Cat Warrior counts as a Cat Warrior. Good to know. Uh, go. Finally, a cat with more than one toughness. That's super awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like such, <coughs> such an a-hole here. Hang on. I um, mean, you shouldn't. Uh, hey, look. You know what? Magic's a game. Uh, you should feel like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll stop. <coughs> okay. Play this. Yeah. These are you, have a, you have another spell? <sighs> no. Okay. Oh, thank God I'm at one. I mean, I, I guess I should have. Well, no, I didn't need a land anyway, so you're up. All right. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to play a land. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play uh, one of the other cats that I've had in my hand. Awesome. Uh, and then I'm going to play another cat that I've had in my hand. Uh, you know, I didn't think there was this many cats with um, one toughness, but here we are. Okay. Uh, I'm going to con I'm going to uh, concede. Great. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I want to be clear. Let me be perfectly clear. That was not the best showing. No, that was of the deck. Well, okay. Can I see dark? Can I read dark glass? No. Can I read dark glass? You're going to rip it in half. Can I read Dark Blast? Here, I'll, Can I read Dark Blast? Hang on, hang on a sec. I'll, Can I read Dark Blast? Goodbye? I need to read Dark Blast. I'm scared. You're, I'm, I'm experiencing fear. Can I see no, it? No, you can look at it. I just need to see it. I just need to see it. I, 
I just need to read it. Is it Target Creature? Yes. <laughs> what sets it from again? <sighs> this is a hostile work environment. Mm, Jesus, maybe I do need a commander <laughs> to, to get around it. I mean, if I had Arbo in the back. Mm. All right, all right, all right. We just have, okay, I have a I, game plan. I don't play Plague Engineer. Oh, thank is God. That... Oh God, I forgot about that card. That is uh, Do you know the sensation when my opponent has um, Sword of Feast and Famine when I'm on Black Mold? I mean... You ever had that happen? It's bad. I think that's cats and dogs as far as comparisons go. Um, like, you can kill the sword. Black Green can blow up artifacts, right? Yeah, that's true. Alright, I'll go first. Oh, yeah. As in, yes, I'll keep. I will uh, also keep this. I don't have to do that for basic lands. Aether Vile. Doing it right. Uh, go. Everybody would do death and they were doing it right. Oh my god. Did you draw? No, I, di I didn't. I did not draw Dark Blast. Sorry, I don't remind have. Me. We're Dark not Blast. allowed to swear, but am I allowed to uh, bludgeon someone? Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. Oh, thank god. Okay, I didn't draw Dark Blast. So, you can't be mad for my play. I feel like I. You're not allowed I to be. I feel like I'm allowed to Because I didn't be. dark blast you. Okay. You aren't allowed to be angry. Did you play Engineered Plague? No. Like him? Oh, this is not the worst. Wait, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> uh, one to. Great. Nope. Nope. Hey. Uh, you hit Dramoka's Command. Awesome. Not great. And. Sun Petal Grove. Well, that's a little unfortunate. You're up. Uh, counter. Yes. Uh, land. Okay, I, I may, maybe I needed that white mana. Um, I'll play. Oh, it's a very pretty elf. Go ahead. It's a handsome lad. Yeah, I don't know what size this. of this lad. <clears throat> My God, look at the size of it. Oh, he's oh, he's a right. Tosser. Oh, that's a that's a large. Uh... I I know that elf. I know him anywhere. He's a you know what? He's a prat. He's I didn't, just a prat. I didn't get sick. I've just haven't had a voice since Jersey. Well, yeah. I was shouting at too many cabs. <laughs> hey, I'm walking. <laughs> I'm walking here. <laughs> Otherwise, people don't know that you're <coughs> walking there. Yeah. I'm walking here. That's that's what live streaming is, right? When you just walk around shouting about what you're doing. I'm gonna cast doing. a card I've always wanted to play. Ooh, pest! Oh god! Uh, activate Aether Vile. <gasps> Vildenactol. Vildenactol. Uh, der Vildenactol erhält uh, plus eins plus eins Solange de de ein Garbage, 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 garbage controllerist. Die garbage. Uh, der Wild Nakatel erhalt plus eins plus eins Solange de ein. There's uh, Germans uh, in the chat who are just like tearing I know, their ears great. off. They right love now. it. I, I'm pretty sure they just called you a garbage control player. What? That I mean, that's that makes sense. Uh, Brushland, uh, go. Untap. Now this. Mm. Cats must really like that place. Just, it's just a place they can go and get brushed. Oh, you want a brushy? Yeah, I'll play brushy land. Brushy, brushy. I will play a sulfur springs. Yeah. Um, attack. One, two, three. I don't understand how I lost. Said tribal green white tribal player playing against party removal. Uh, I'll put in an adoring pouncer. Awesome. Uh, untap. Put that to three. Yep. Uh, combat. Yep. Broom. No, 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 not Fire Covenant. Oh, God. <laughs> it's even better because it has Death Touch. But um, I'll pay three life and... <laughs> I mean, yeah, all right, all right, all right. It, it matters. I do like that you predicted that. Go. That's hot. Well... <sighs> don't, don't look. My hubris senses are tingling. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, oh my god. Um, I'll pitch my hand and draw three. Yeah, One, we have a backup two, match, right? Three. Go. Uh, 
go. All around me are familiar. familiar. I'm casting this to not get uh, because I'm dark yeah, that's fine because I'm already dead. Do I have Sorry, can you put that on the <laughs> No, I mean it's just dark blast isn't necessary. I mean that would be a swag at this point. No, that would just be BM. That would Casting be casting in tomb. Get in the graveyard. This is not representative of the strength of cats. Yeah. This I... is this is Char Belcher all over again. Is it? Well, when I, I played when I played Belcher, I against Ben in the fi finals. Oh no. Red. red. I just got donkeyed. Red, red, black, black. Uh, one, two, I'm three now. Three, four, five. <clears throat> uh, please discard a card. Okay. Okay. Uh, vroom, vroom. Uh, I take seven. I go to seven. You're up. I will activate Aether Vial. I will put into play... Herscher de Rudel <coughs> Creature, cats. De Herscher de Rudel erhalt plus eins plus eins fur. I assume that's fur because it's a cat. Yeah. Uh, Jed and dairy cats die do controllers. Wait, your cats have Yandere? <laughs> Come play with us. <laughs> Forever! Yeah. Okay. Mm. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good. PGNB. 3.6 Russian? Not great, not terrible. Jesus Christ. Wait, does he do that when he attacks? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Yeah. You gave me this card. Yeah. You still owe me for this. Yeah, I, I will pay I'm for gonna it. I'm going to spite ask for no, money. That's, that, well, that's <laughs> not even spite. I know. I Well, it's not spite, but it's not... I just want you to see what I peeled. Paul. <sighs> okay. Help. I'll arc trail Can this time. I, I have no, no help. Please. One and two. It has, what? It has death touch. Oh, that's where you're... Oh. Don't swear. I'll go to six. And I'll make two lifelink cats. Wait, you have a dark blast. Okay, so what do we do here when someone gets demolished in seven minutes? Oh, you know what? You know what's even worse? I have Dark Blast and Unearth, so I can Dark Blast, cycle Unearth, dredge Dark Blast, and cast it. I'm, I respect you. What do we You're do? You're one of my favorite opponents. I mean, to be honest, the uh, the second round actually went. Fizz, the second round went quite long. I, I, we're not I, doing too. We're we're probably are you uh, mad? where we should be. No, I'm not time. mad. Are you, are you angry with me? Oh God, no! Of course not. It's <laughs> Magic the Gathering. <laughs> I'm that playing was, Cat Tribal. Yeah, and I'm if, playing the all whoops all removal deck. I think if I get upset over Cat Tribal against, well. A, Everything about this scenario leads me to believe that if I got upset, I'd be more upset with myself for getting upset at you considering the circumstances. And we're not going to do that. We're having fun. No, I mean, there's a parking lot. Oh, fun. boy. Uh, well, now what? Yeah, we're having fun. It's, it's fun. It's, I, oh. I got to say, I, I mean, the deck is great. I still don't know what a Jellicle cat is. Though. You don't have to lie to me. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> I haven't seen cats. And what I infer is that a Jellicle cat is the anthro cats of the thing cats. No. The ones that sing. No. It's, no. That's it's, not it? The Jellicle, ca Jellicle cats are black and white. Mm -hmm. That's what, the only lyric I know. I mean, if we have time. We know, we, we know that they're not a dog. Okay, that's good. Uh, we know that definitively because it's 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 told to us. But other than that, it's it's uh, it's a little bit tricky. All right. How about do we have time for another three minute match, or do you want us sure. to? Great. I mean, sure. Yeah. Great. Want. This won't count for anything. Okay. I will start with Arabo in my command zone. Sure. I will start at forty life. Okay. I, I will be playing with commander rules. You will not. All right. I want Let, to see if I can I'm, kill you. I'm curious, actually. How high does this life pad go to? Oh. <laughs> should uh, I be at? Should I be at? 
Perfect. 30? 40. No, 40. 40 is great. No, we're, we're great. great. Uh, if it's worth doing, it's worth I'm doing. I'm not right. mad. I want to be clear. I'm not mad. People are going to think I'm mad. I'm not mad. I'm just trying to. This will be fun. It'll be great. But I swear to God, if you get dark blast. Maybe this is why I'm losing. The greed is consuming me. Come on. Don't. Now it's commander, so I get a free mold. <laughs> and, you, and you draw on your and first turn. And I draw my first turn. Well, I mean, that's multiplayer. I don't know. Hey, chat, in dual commander, do you get to draw on your first turn? Alex doesn't get a commander. Are you kidding me? Alex picks Croxa, and I lose. No? Okay, great. Uh, I'm going to ignore that. That's a good point. Do you actually have any uh, any non-green and white cards in that deck? I do, but I'm above the law. And I may have drawn one of them. Wow, this is not very good. I'm on a mall. So... <coughs> oh, you're good. Okay. Gotta keep something. Alex can't pick Crocs. Oh, right, he's Mardu. Right. Do you oh. have any Mardu cards? Are you playing the, the Bounty Hunter? Mathis? I'm not. Crackling Doom is your commander? <clears throat> is the gentleman's mulligan so... Oh, do you have Marchisa? I don't. Cheesy. You want me to get you a Cheesy? I have a Cheesy in general. No, no, no. No, no but no, I this... mean Cheesy for this game. No! Okay. You're going... You're going to... Mm. Hmm? Let's... What? D you only mulligan once, right? No, I mulligan twice. Oh. Well, no. now... All right, fine. Uh, Jungle Lion? <laughs> I'll grab a Savannah. Here you go. That's super awesome. Right, but what are you going to do? He can't intercept. Yeah, terrible football player. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we looked, at, I'll block. we looked at the rules, and it's true that there is... Right, it's a 2-1. <laughs> no, 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 no. It just says it can't intercept. Oh, right, okay. No, I, yeah. He can still block. He can't block. I don't run it. I've got nipples, Alex. Can you milk me? <coughs> it's like we, uh... Does my voice make it better or worse? It's so much worse. Yeah. We looked at the rules, and it's true uh, that there isn't any rule against having a lion on your team. Uh, well, it turns out they're not actually that good at playing football, though, turn. so it's fine. No, they eat the refs. If you could train a lion to eat not ref. Um, oh, I shouldn't make that noise. That was not a good noise. Um, I'm going to fetch for a forest. Mm -hmm. Wait, you don't lose life? Uh, maybe you lose life. From what? From my fetches. I tell you what. Your opponent loses a life for me. I tell you what. Uh, you, you're going to lose all the life for me. Eh? You're going to fleece me. Ooh, fleecy. Uh, go ahead. See, this draw is somewhat reasonable. Oh, I forgot. This has eminence. That's neat. Yeah, it's a triggered ability when it's in the command zone. What? All right. Uh, I have a Leonin War Leader. Not Dang. a legal target. Whiff. An Arid Mesa. Whiff. Not a legal target. A Findhorn Elves. Whiff. Not a legal target. Uh, and to Dismember, ah, which is a legal target. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Um, I want him dead. I want everybody. I want his dismembered dead. I want his whole hand dead. You hear me? Dead. D-E-A-D. This is going to be really confusing to people coming in, and I think I'm okay with that. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you on, like, Seeker of the Way? Like, let's, I should let's talk about your dad. Yeah, we, we should talk afterwards yeah. um, in the parking lot, like sensible gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's talk out front of Tesco's. Oh, uh, front of Tesco's. Uh, you shake, you shake me mum. Yeah, I'm at, uh, What'd you shake me mum for? I said shank. What'd you shake I, I, me mum for? Oi, my, I said shank me mum. <laughs> I have some Go. class. Oh, I shouldn't yell. <coughs> oh, combat. Yep. Mm. Mm, meow. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> it keeps happening. I told you about the dark blast. It keeps happening. It keeps happening. Somebody's just like vaping into that guy's face from just off camera, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, no, his vape blew up. Awesome. Swift claw. You got it. 
I'm going to find a way about this. Okay. And then Findhorn out. You got it. Go. I'll dredge Dark Blast. Okay. Chad, I don't think this is going to go over well. I almost drew another card. Uh, I'll play this Fabled Passage. Sure. Uh, let's go ahead and Dark Blast this 3-1. Oh, yep. Vroom. Uh, yeah, I take Dose. Go. Do it. Uh, I'll do it now so I don't get goozled. Big booty kitties, oh. big, big booty kitties, big, big attack. I'm at less. Go. I'll fetch this pain of life. Gonna get a base. <coughs> Excuse me. Did you dab? Does it. <coughs> is it easier if I cough directly into the microphone? If you could not. E easier for who? Yes. <laughs> it's not easier for me. Or the viewers. What? What if I shove the microphone down my throat? That's... Please don't. Um, that, that's, that's for a different so what is this channel, to do? I believe. 4-4. Uh, four, four. Oh, <laughs> when, it, when it attacks, I make two 1-1 one, one lifelink attack king kitties. I will draw... Oh, God, this gives... I card. don't even have to pay the mana. This card's busted. I'm not using eminence. Oh no! Chat, I don't have a command zone. Yeah, that's fine. Pass. Chat, I will play by some of the rules. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, they're eating her. And then they're gonna eat me. Oh, oh my god! god. Rum. I make two cats. Oh. Two. I'll block one. Two cats. Propose a trade. Two cats with, with your life link. War leader. I can't hear you. I'm gaming. Um, yeah, that's fine. I think. Yeah, that's fine. So you have one cat left, and I eat three. Yeah. Are these organized by alphabet? Sure. Wait, what are you blocking? Oh, you're killing this, and then you're eating a thing. You take four, and I gain two. Sure. Up to uh, thirty-five. Uh, go ahead. Sorry, I need to find cats to represent my board state of cats. Oh, yeah. They're not the right cat, so that's the right cat. Wow. On theme tokens? <laughs> okay, Ben. I'll pitch this. Draw. Yeah. Oh, where, I was almost going to cough directly Go. into it. <coughs> Why would you me. do that? Sorry, I'm, <sighs> I'm allergic to haters. Wow. I'm going to flash out big booty What does this kitty. thing do again? So it's a four mana, three, four cat cleric that has flash. Uh, if an opponent would draw two or more cards, instead, we both just draw a card. Okay. Top it fair. All out. Untap. Draw. Oh, that's a kitty. Oh, my, my God. God. Becky. Look. At Take a look at that. What? Cat. It's giant. Big. Oh my god, Becky, look at that butt. It Who is so understands big. those rap guys anyway. Uh Ranker. Oh god. Um, I should probably put Ron Core. Well that sucks. <laughs> uh how yeah, do I chat start? for the for those of you that are complaining about everything, uh shut up. <laughs> I'm, it's where I'm, I'm at 35 life, people. <laughs> this, this is just to give you something. But you're misplaying. <laughs> I'm going to receive like a handwritten letter penned by Quill that's like, Dearest Wheeler, I hate to bring it up to you. However, you seem to have missed this trigger from your commander in this game of not commander. Uh, sh sorry, I'm busy talking smack. You took one and then three? Yes. Okay. Uh, this dies. I get rancor back. Does it? How much toughness uh, does it have? Oh, sorry. I thought it for what it has four. <laughs> sorry, I was under the impression yeah. it had a thing. Um, oh boy. Oh no! <laughs> no, Dilbert. It's about the posturing. It's about if this was a normal match, I wouldn't have the. Oh. No dice. I'm dead. Well, Paul, I won. The whole thing. <laughs> All right. Well, that's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a close match. Yep.
Uh, thanks for the names. All right, let's yeah. let's let's talk. Let's talk shop. My my deck's big dumb. It's cats. It's, it's green white. Like it's it. cats. You get the idea. Let's let's talk you. Let's, because because you are just slapping people around all day. With this is deck. a really cute cat. Yeah, it's very cute. I like I like it. It has kind of like a um, a slight like Louis Wayne kind of inspiration. Who drew a lot of cats doing things that cats shouldn't do. Solly Pride Mage. Miri. Prowling Servant Bard's a, a cat. Ooh, you get to play Ambusher. That's hot. I love Phoenix of Ash. Yeah, this card Phoenix is absurd. Of, there's a bunch of new cards that basically made this deck. For, the, for awesome. those of you not familiar with Kasali Ambusher, Ooh. it's a uh, one green nice. and a white for a 2-3 reach that says if a creature is attacking you and you control a plains and a forest, I can play Kasali Ambusher for free with Flash. Yeah, Questing Beast. Uh, not technically a cat. Honorary cat. I could only get through like the first hundred pages of Questing Beast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I put it down. It's one of those books like Finnegan's Wake. You just put it down and you're like, try to pick it back up the next day. And... I'll admit, I only read Questing Beast on the bus to look <laughs> important to strangers. Oh, yeah. Mm. Vince McMahon. A good cat. Power. Look at those legs. You'd think They're they'd be able to get like... Men. Better, like pilots for Vince McMahon that are at least drift compatible. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Anyways, hi friends. That's hey. it. That's our stream for today. Uh, day one of the Winter League. Uh, Paul, can you bring up the standings? Let's see what our final day looks like. And it's worth mentioning we still have Nelson v. Jer fighting off camera right now. So, in the lead, undefeated, we have Alex. We have myself and Wheeler tied with six points. We're going to figure out what's going to happen between Nelson and Jer right now. Um, and figure out the standings right there. And Cameron, our friend, kind of a rough day. One and two. You had one games in all of your matches today. Yep. Yep. I was oh, not so quite there fun. at the end. But we'll see what happens. And again, of course, the way the league works is as the streams continue to go on, we'll continue to add to that until our eventual winner has to buy everyone ice cream. And speaking of ice cream, uh, Paul, would you go back to the wide? Are you referring to me or, oh. I brought ice cream. I am I am settling my debt as our champion. It is my job to make sure that everyone gets ice cream. That's really, that's Thank really you. kind of you. Thank you so yep. much. Uh, it was on sale. <laughs> for the record, I still owe everybody ice cream. Yeah, uh, Paul, there's an extra one for you as well. Oh, they're so dainty. Uh, and then there's a special oh, like vegan one over here for Nelson when he comes in and joins us. They're on sale, you say? <laughs> <laughs> and they have nuts. Uh, so bon appétit, everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching this. I want to remind you all that um, Friday Night Paper Fight is brought to you by you. With the support over at the Patreon, over at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. This is all your fault. Uh, also, a huge thank you to Card Kingdom. Cardkingdom.com slash LRR is an affiliate code. Let's them know that we sent you. If you like unreasonably fast shipping on singles, Cardkingdom.com slash LRR. Also, if you say button, please, you get a button. I'm sure it's funny. I have no idea what it says. Any idea, Cameron? You were just on the podcast, Cam, did they not? Uh, that you also didn't know what it was on the podcast? Uh, well, we still mm. might still have ones that read weird tap, but okay. <laughs> But they were running low at last word. Um, and I don't know what the next ones are. Um, also, if you're watching right now on the YouTube VODs, what's up? Thank you for watching. Definitely appreciate that. Know that these Highlander VODs get a lot of views on the YouTube side. So thank you very much for all your support there. Let us know what you thought of the games down below. I was going to say please, something please. like... No, do it. Do it. And, I, and if you think a player made a misplay, it's probably okay. That's all. I'm just gonna just gonna leave that one there. Just leave that one there. Uh, Paul, what's coming up this week? Well, I'll tell you what's coming up tomorrow. Is uh, the Canadian, More this. Canadian Highlander Top Eight Yellow Jacket Top Eight Tournament World Turn? I, I don't know what the whole name is. The Yellow Jacket 2019 World Finals. The Woo! Canadian Highlander. The entire world, world of Yellow Jacket. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm uh, bringing cats, baby. The best that, in the world of YJ. Yeah, mm. yeah. So uh, I, I'm assuming, yes, it's going to be uh, Ben Wheeler's cats deck. Uh, 
Jaron Druids. Jaron Druids, <laughs> and uh, who knows where everybody else will be on. But yeah, Robin Sorensen on uh, 99 Forests and Lost in the Woods, or whatever that one yeah. was. I think we got Fox Tribal, um, <laughs> Fair Mill. Fair Mill! Um, yeah, Oops All Lotus. Yeah, we have someone that's... Uh, oh, you can play 8-copter in, uh, in that format. Which? 8-copter. Eight copter. It's the worst copy. version of twelve chat. No, 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 no. Like, you just play eight copies of Smuggler's Copter. It gives you a game loss every time. It's really consistent. I was just gonna say somebody's playing Battle Wits with the old rules. Uh, oh, there's just that deck from uh, the old Battle of the Planeswalkers that's just Suntail Hawks. And when uh, you said that, I felt this wave of radiant heat coming from Jer in the other room. I'm playing a Vanguard deck. So, uh, but for real, real. There's um, going to be some very powerful magic being played tomorrow, and it's going to be played uh, uh, rather than the usual setup here, where the where the players are uh, narrating their own stuff. We want to make sure that the players can uh, uh, have their not be distracted and everything. So we're even going to have a full commentary team mm. with uh, Alex and Serge and Ben Omer and uh, Nelson and uh, possibly. Uh, Ben Wheeler and, uh, and or Jeremy, Jeremy Jeremy White, depending oh, on how yeah. they do. It's win-win, baby. I'm either yeah. winning the event or dirting out with the worst-case scenario being losing in the finals. If that happens, I will quit <clears throat> Cat Tribal <laughs> for a month. <laughs> Whew. Serious. Oh, wow. Uh, nope. That's a serious I, pledge. I'm, I'm not messing around. Well, are you? Are you sure? <clears throat> Can I go back? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Uh, anytime you want. I'll quit. Come cat. back to us. I'll quit. Cat tribal. Uh, uh, so check that out. It starts at noon uh, tomorrow. Heck uh, yeah! Please tune in. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, and then on Sunday we've got Rhythm Cafe, uh, where they're gonna be playing more of Poppin' Music Eleven. Uh, there are so many. Of, there's like twenty of those games. Uh, that's lots of content. Yeah. Uh, and then on Monday, uh, I believe. Provided things don't go terribly wrong, I will be completing my playthrough of uh, Control. Ooh, very exciting. Uh, in the sense that things appear to be uh, coming down to the wire. So, uh, I don't know. I have already got to the credits. I got to the, like, the end credits of the game already. Turns out that's not the end of the game. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah, fooled you. What? Is it just like, is is it like a near automata situation where you have like 40 more hours of game to play now? I hope not. Okay. Although that would be pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, Without ending A. Hey. And then uh, on uh, on Monday as well, in the evening, uh, Adam is going to be playing some... Uh, in some, uh, some single player uh, RPG... Pen and paper RPG stuff. We're well, not to be entirely determined. sure yeah. what it will be yet. Possibly some fighting fantasy. Possibly something else. We'll see how it goes. Uh, and then uh, on Tuesday we'll be in for the standard nine nine o'clock at ten o'clock and uh, talking sim. Where what you talking about? Uh, I think we're going back in on uh, Disco Elysium again. Just you because really it's like so that game. Good. It's. Yeah, yeah, I do. That was one of the best of 2019, right? It, my goatee 2019. Heck yeah. Wow. Our, our, uh, the Mill Slam goatee 2019. Are, are you almost almost through it, or is it... Oh, uh, it's got a no, lot of... heavens no. We're on day two. <laughs> wow. Of seven, eight, nine, okay. depending. We got through a lot in day one and two, though. Cool. Some people don't get the body out of the tree until day seven. What? I don't know what that means, but I like it. You're, at the game, you're a murderer. Detective. Uh, yeah, you're a murderer. Wait, you're a murderer. You're an invest detective, or a murderer. You're, you're playing an amnesiac detective okay. who wakes up in a hotel after an apocalyptic bender, and you're investigating a murder. Were, were you amnesiac? You I've seen the first season of True Detective. Yeah, were, yeah. were you an amnesiac before the apocalyptic bender? No. Oh, <laughs> wow, that was that's some bender. Wait, so you you like went so hard. You know, yes. Oh, you don't even know who you are. Yeah, you you became the guy from Memento. <laughs> yeah. A, a tiny spoiler: the rest of the cops in your department call you Tequila Sunset. Oh. Well, uh, and then uh, of course uh, Tuesday night is going to be uh, Let's Nope with the Spoopy Games uh, with Ben Omer and uh, Adam. So, lots of cool stuff coming up. LoadingReadyRun.com/slash/live is the place to go to find 
all the full schedule, and uh, <coughs> that's also got a link to the calendar and so forth. And uh, we want to thank all the amazing people who subscribe and help us out with the channel, either here on Twitch or on YouTube or through Dave. Patreon. Thanks, and Dave. especially Dave, we mm -hmm. want to thank him. I really hope somebody named Dave is in the chat. We just made and their like, night. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Lur. And, uh, <laughs> Dave, we see you. Even more especially this person. <laughs> uh, Sam Wong for a full 41 months. Wow, we use that. Mm -hmm. And thank you very much to Lion's Eye Dave for uh, 73 months of support. Don't sorry that name. Don't take Dave's name in vain. <laughs> Dave Lord Foamy is coming <laughs> back for the 30th month. Hey, that's a prime number. I ain't doing that. TR Brutality for 11 months. Welcome back. God bless you. Uh, Anaximarius. I don't know why I said like it's a me and Mario. Uh, 12 months. <laughs> That's a whole year. Oh, <laughs> 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 Big Davey, 77, with six months. Right, now do Lariat watch. West has come back for the 25th month. Another prime number. <laughs> Jesse K, 94, for 11 months. Welcome back. Oh, B. Nine months. You like my war, you know? Are Jared and Nelly not done yet? Wait. Oh my goodness, Orion Pax with half a year. Thank you for the continued support. <laughs> Maintain priority has come back for the 20th month. I always forget to do that in Arena. You hold control. Just and then you can sack your own Croxa. Just maintain priority until the end of time. Yeah. Paul, would you like an ice cream now? Bandy Flounder sure. for 13 months. Hot dog, we've got a Dark Lord Stratos for Thank a you. full... 25 years. Yeah. Alchemical Panda. 15 months of continued support. Thank you, Panda friend. Bearcat1019 has come back for the 11th month. Thank you. Oh, Jared's in chat and still playing. 23 months. Jared in chat says, currently in game three, looking good. Right. Ra Ragnar, head in. <laughs> it's supper time. You're eating 20 months. Ralphie, it's dinner time. Uh, I was gonna say, knowing how the game uh, between Nelson and uh, Cam went, the fact that Jer is on his phone <laughs> <laughs> is not a good sign. Golgoroth has been here for a baby's worth of time. Goblin Ranger has come back for the 34th month. Thank you. It's Goblin R. Anger. <laughs> Elevation, 4,000 feet for 37 months. Welcome back. Hydra Wiggins. Out your service. It's just like Matt. He cut months. his head off in two more. It's just a bunch of mats. And they're all frumping. frumping. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Oh, good. Great. <laughs> so is that... We shouldn't have said that? No, or? you shouldn't have. Lore... Dink D F. Thank you for twenty seven thirty six months of support. Oh, I <laughs> geometric. Oh my God, the frumps are reproducing at a geometric rate. <coughs> Chandra Grillmaster has come back for the seventeenth month. Thank you. Colin O'Clock for sixteen months. Oh, happy Colin O'Clock. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You owe me your soul. Bow down before the God of Death. Hey, buddy. Sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm Ugh. impressed that you nailed that. I don't know yeah, how wow. you did that, but I'm impressed. In fact, you could say I'm Solemn Storm for nope, 39 that, months. That was that? that impressive. What? Chaos <laughs> Infest. Oh, I love going to Chaos Infest. Uh, has come back for the 10th month. Thank you. Brackus Well for 78 months. Welcome back. <clears throat> Side Nequid. That's the 47 months. Hey. Hard to pronounce. Oh know. my god. <coughs> Can we get that BDM clip? At the PPR when it goes, Damn, I'm pretty! <clears throat> Hi. Damn, I'm pretty. Thank you for 51 months. I didn't quite do it with the same. Blightning Healy 10 has come back for the 7th month. Thank you. Fish doll for 42 months. Welcome back. <laughs> <coughs> and pot 14 pot S the games blog thank you for 40 months appreciate you del Toran one one has returned for the 13th month thank you oh 
We have an update. Gentlemen. Sorry. Hey! hey. hey. The thief was champion. Oh, they both conceded. <laughs> <laughs> So Jer takes down Nelson off camera. <laughs> Didn't get goose eggs. Oh. Uh, you know what? Here, have no. an ice cream sandwich. And Nelson, for you, have a vegan ice cream sandwich. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I am now even. Do. Do man. Do man three. Do man three, do do man man three for three. one. Do I man three for twenty. Dry. Dry. I forget. Twenty-three whole months. Mamma mia. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's the that's the uh, the O one Thorin O one for thirty eight months. Some sort of ice cream cookie. Yeah, just like the the plain vanilla which is there, mm -hmm. and these are pretty good, eh? Zoe Dave, thank you for nine months. No, nope. uh, Dave Mir. Monkus be funky has returned for the fifty sixth month. Thank you. Fenrir Fangs for twenty nine months. Thanks for your support. Good to see you. Mm, Velvet Falcon for forty months. Welcome back. Hoster the yellow for 61 months, exclamation mark. Hoster the yellow. <laughs> Decayed <laughs> corpse of Ozymandias for 16 months. Spartan Dave, welcome back. Thank you very much for resubbing. You butt. This <laughs> is... Sorry. Uh, corrupt Drop Bear has come back for the fifth month. This is all thanks. Release the dead for 28 months. Thanks for subscribing. Throw yourself in a worm. Narius for 10 months. Welcome back. Oh, and thank you for the 1700 bits to Discordy token type one. Zara shall not cane nor able and maintain priority. The bitties. The bits. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. We'll be back in February with more powerful magic. And remember to tune in tomorrow for the Yellow Jacket final. Thank you so much, and see you next time. Bye.